Hello, everyone, and welcome to tonight's episode of Critical Role, where uh, a bunch of us nerdy ass voice actors sit around, roll dice, and play Dungeons hey. and Dragons. Hey! hey. hey. Uh, Ashley Johnson left us last week um, to go shoot in New York, and <laughs> shooting got delayed a week. Um, so. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. What are you what doing are you here? Astral projection! Ah. Pike, Pike's gone, but she at least can sit there while you guys play. <laughs> uh, I just came to just hang out. Yeah, you that's know? cool. I, I, I appreciate right. that. Thank you guys for your patience with the tech issues. Uh, we're trying out some, some new arrangements here, and it took a little setup. But nevertheless, we are good to go. Uh, yeah. Before we jump into the night's game, let's go ahead and get through our announcements. Uh, First and foremost, uh, Loot Crate has been our fa fantastic sponsor, and they currently are unveiling their July theme, Futuristic. <gasps> Whoa. Which is pretty rad. They have uh, a bunch of things from Rick and Morty, Futurama, Mega Man, uh, Valiant Comics, and Star Trek. And then they have a figure in there. They also have their monthly t shirt and pin, all that cool stuff uh, coming up. And we have the Loot Anime July theme of Squadron as well, uh, which includes a bunch of uh, like Gundam, Gate, Arpeggio, uh, Blue Steel, and Anti Magic Academy stuff. And exclusive loot to the anime box. Both of these are their current themes in July. If you want to sign up to Loot Crate to get these um, and just be awesome and uh, keep our sponsors happy. Uh, <laughs> you go to uh, www.lootcrate.com slash critical role, and uh, there you can go ahead and sign up for a $3 a month discount by putting in the special code critical role, one word, uh, into what? your subscription. It's the best. Are we gonna open these up? Yeah. 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 Do we get to do this? Yeah, the, the we haven't print. opened any of these Loot yet. Loot anime. Yeah. Loot anime. Wait, wait, it's we like we all have to have anime reactions, reactions to these. Yes. Okay, ready? Okay. Ready? Yeah. And one, two, two three. Oh! 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 Sugoi. Oh, okay, this is pretty rad. Oh, shit. Oh, I called it. This is definitely a Captain America shirt. I was going to say Homestar Runner. <laughs> 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 I don't know anything about Biggest Harry Potter. Biggest Dragon Ball Z fan in the world. Oh, my God. This is oh, there's so a full yeah, Oh, there's a Full Metal Alchemist. Golden Super Saiyan hair. Oh, it's Super Saiyan Goku. I'm going to order one of hats, fan. That's pretty oh, great. You've got it. You've Please got the gold Chico hair. Plush. Which is rad. What is this? Oh, little little Chico. I have a Chico oh. on my head. Okay. What's that? Oh, hey! The boy in it's a full metal alchemist doormat. It's a full metal alchemist. What? Full metal That's a doormat? Alchemist. Transmutation circle! Yeah. You may or may not do voices <gasps> in Full Metal Alchemist and Dragon Ball Z. Whoa! Whoa. Full circle! Ah. Wow. Wait, and there's circle also a little thing in here. What is this? That's what bad. is, what is the poster oh, for? You got a cool poster. I feel, I feel protected from this. You got a poster? Yeah. Oh, there is a poster. Whoa. What's it for? Oh, his little cell phone charms. Oh, we also have, what are these? Yeah, these, these are from uh, Unity. These are little uh, yeah, little Unity. charms That's from the phone charm. Can someone that is. save me a critical, a Luke Ray box? Shut up, Liam, you're not here. Sorry, Liam, you're missing out. <laughs> I'll save you a cell phone charm. Oh. Yeah, there's so we got cell phone awesome charms. yokai cool. shirt, uh, little pins. unity charms. They're like little I like the unity charms. charms. Awesome poster. Yeah, they are like best pin yeah. charms. Oh. And they're so feathers. Cool. Actually, Liam, these are really appropriate. They're feathers. And there's yeah, two. A little... I'll save you one. This is up. going in the kitchen in front of the sink. I'm going to stand this. on it and transmute my dishes into clean. <laughs> <laughs> I love this little plush. <laughs> I see. I want oh, this to be my favorite. I'm serious. We're, we're really we doing it. The most useful it. alchemist. It's great. Yay, yeah, thanks, right. nice. Loot Crate. Thank you, Loot Crate. Thanks, Loot Crate. Check it out. If it's something you guys want to be part of, uh, just send this stuff monthly. Theme crates are awesome. We've been I didn't even know time. they had an anime, Loot Crate. That's pretty cool. And now you do, Laura. What? What? Oh, oh, you know. Boom. Give it. Awesome. So uh, once again, that's uh, Critical Role, one word, on their website, uh, lootcrate.com slash Critical Role, to get your discount for being critters and awesome. Um, we have also uh, the, the, the Laura. The t-shirt. talk a bit about the t-shirt. Oh, the t-shirt competition! Yes. Yes. yes! So, okay. So we have officially selected the, the top three of our choosing. Okay. Uh, and then we are now presenting them to you guys to vote on. They are already up on geekandsundry.com, so just go and check them out and make your votes heard. And um, and we're going to be announcing the actual winner of the t-shirt competition at our live show next week. So everybody that comes and sees that will get to see, you know, a picture of it live. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> just like just like you guys yeah. at home. 
<laughs> yeah. What a goober. You, so you, you basically Tell see it 30 seconds before, before everyone else, else. But uh, mainly due to streaming. That 30 seconds makes a huge difference. It does. Well, also, we know? may be miming something while the picture's up that That's will be true. like exclusive content. Oh, and there right. were so <laughs> many good there ones. There were so good. Oh my God. So hard. They were so great. The amount of like texts that went back and forth between all of us, like trying to decide what the top three were gonna be was really, really, really. It was like, okay, hard. everybody pick your like top three. And, and everybody so we said, each pick like six. six. <laughs> yeah. And they were all like different. Yeah. And we're like, cool. Like, oh. Fun. Which brings cool. us to our next announcement, which is we do have a live show next week. <laughs> oh my God, we're in the Landmark Theaters. It's a sold out show somehow, because everybody's crazy that's coming to see it. Yeah. yeah. We're going to be there in person, trying to pull off this live show thing. It's going to be wacky. It's going to be zany. We're not going to have any clothes on. No, that's yeah, not true. That's, that's, that's not true. Not at all. That's not, uh, hey, it's a live show, y'all. You are welcome. I think you just became live clickbait. I'm gonna sit yeah. in a sock, and that's no, it. No, no. Um, hey, it's gonna be a really big it's sock. Really Chad, it's, so, it's already sold out. You don't. Gotcha, have... right? It's <laughs> the first of hopefully many. So uh, it, it, we'll, we'll see how it goes. Yeah, it's if it goes well, goes. if it goes well and runs smoothly, and people are receptive to it, then uh, hope it'll be more of these. <laughs> Uh, different places over the country. Oh, so we can try it. Yeah. Like it. Guys, one though. more yeah, quick announcement uh, over here on, on the cool table. Uh, <laughs> oh, yeah. The Joe oh, well. Bad posters. You know them, you love them. They're up on shop.geekandsundry.com. It's your last chance to pre order the unsigned limited edition critical role poster. The poster size, it's not 23 by 35, it's 24 by 36. We went the extra inch <laughs> for you guys. <laughs> what These posters will be removed <laughs> from the website and deleted forever tomorrow at 1, 1 p.m. Pacific. The cost is $40. Go buy it now. Sorry. <laughs> 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 Sorry, Talisman. No, it's okay. No, no like, that was. Let me try no, that again. No, okay. Exactly. You must reiterate they are gorgeous. <laughs> we will want one they of these for you. So try to scan them that set extra inch that they makes are amazing. all the difference. It's the extra, uh, extra inch, inch cube that makes all the. Uh, <laughs> one, one square. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> all right. Um, any other announcements anyone wants to bring forward? I know uh, <laughs> bring Titan, Manser, Titan Manser just Major. came out. My boy Sean Manser in that. Um, what just came out? Titan Manser. Oh, oh, cool. Cool. Uh, uh, yeah. yeah. The game. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> anybody else have anything? Then well, it's a very half hearted plug, Matt. Uh, oh, yeah. <laughs> game. Yeah. Yeah, there's game. Yeah, there's like, yeah. Yeah. Thing. Jet lag. How's that Stuff in Stuffing it. Uh, yeah. We're all kind of adorably right? wonky. This is going to be yeah. fun to die. Yeah. yeah, I'm a little jet lag. I'm tired. But that doesn't matter because that's what energy <laughs> drinks are for. Mm -hmm. All right, guys. Let's go ahead and dive in here to the proper part of tonight's episode of Critical Role. Yeah. <laughs> Opening credits. Welcome back. So, we had a we had a week off last week where the amazing Liam O'Brien there ran a one-shot game of absolute <laughs> chaos and did an amazing job. It was pretty fun. Uh, if you guys had an opportunity to check it out, you should. It's up on geekandsundry.com. It's amazing, uh, and made it me and Marisha very jealous that we couldn't be here to play in it. But we were here in spirit, and obviously uh, motorcycle mm -hmm. and sidecar. So that was kind of fun. What? Um, we'll show you some of the some of the fan art. Uh, but anyway, back to this game. 
Uh, Vox Machina, the group of adventurers who had found their way, uh, now seeking the vestiges of divergence, ancient artifacts of power, to help them in their struggle against the Chroma Conclave, the uh, collection of chromatic dragons that have uh, just raised the entire countryside of Tal'Dorei. Uh, they've acquired a few of them, but the most recent one sends them to the Feywild in search of Fenthris, a bow which seems to uh, acquire the eyes of Vex upon it. Um, you uh, took care of some business, uh, managed to ward off an assassination attempt by Rakshasa, and uh, found your way through Keyleth's plane shift spell into the Feywild, somewhere in the vicinity of the portal where the nymph in the Frostweld, upon meeting uh, Vox Machina years before, supposedly lives. As you guys oh, stepped into this. Oh shit, Grogue! <laughs> Oh, All right, so I'm gonna get some machine. Yep. Say <laughs> 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 something else and then I realize. No, it works. Anyway. It works. It works. <laughs> locker room with that. <laughs> Not sure where that came from. So to bring us back in, as you step out into the temperate air, you're struck by the vibrant purples, blues, and pinks of sunset that envelop the skies and clouds above the tree line. The smell of fresh morning dew and poppy upon the breeze fills your head, and your feet wade through tall, thick grasses that tickle your knees with each step. Vine-covered tree trunks rise all around you, curling as they stretch upward like a bending dreamscape, and hundreds of small, bobbing fairy lights glow in the shadowed distance of the forest. Looking about you, you can see what appear to be clusters of mud and small pools of water that are scattered in your vicinity, some 10, 15, even 30 feet apart, just small little pools that dot the landscape, almost like, like pebbles scattered across uh, a small field. Um, what do you guys want to do? Already? Uh, where are we? It's beautiful. Okay. <sighs> I feel like we got drugged. This is fantastic. Is anyone else seeing the colors and the shapes and the... Yeah. Oh, it's everything I could have hoped for. I want to live here. Uh, do okay. oh um okay. Well, I have no idea how to get our bearings here, unfortunately. Well, is there any sign of any bit of con of civilization or construction? Make a perception check. Oh lord! First roll of the day. Don't fuck it up. Ah! Uh, yay! Ah. Uh, Leave it to Percy. Yes. Twenty-six. 26, okay. As you guys are taking in the vicinity, Percy, glancing around, you see no signs of, of uh, civilization. Um, what The only thing that catches your eye is a little ways past the immediate tree line that meets your eye. The fairy lights seem to be caressing the outside of some sort of older stone structure. And that's, just, that's about as much as you can make out. It looks about four or five feet tall, and it's only barely visible between two of the trunks. I think I see a thing. I'm heading in that direction. Wait, let's <laughs> I'm gonna go off. see a thing. I'm gonna go, I wanna go. Okay, I, I take off after Percy. Yeah. Whoa. <laughs> we could always look, let them go first and then die, and then Perhaps it might be wise to move quietly. They're skipping off. We are already, we're already going. They're already going. Brilliant. I mean, right. you remember what our teacher said of this place. It's pretty, but it's not, it's dangerous. It's very dangerous, and I'm afraid they don't understand. Guys, look, 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 they're fireflies! Wait, 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 don't touch, don't touch. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna, I'm, we're, we're going to head towards the, the, the stone. Okay, you make your way across these, these extremely thick and moss-covered tree trunks. You push past the two, and eventually come upon the structure, and as you get closer, the fairy lights just dim and vanish as soon as you get within about five or six feet of them. And they seem to only <laughs> appear hiding. at a peripheral point. Um, you guys uh, approach the stone structure. Do Vex and I have memories of these from uh, our tutoring in uh, Elf Town? Not particularly. Nothing about it strikes you as, you know, part of the general Feywild lore. I mean, there are structures that have been built throughout periods of time, some of which have fallen to ruin. Uh, nature, I'm sorry. nature in the Feywild tends to reclaim things that aren't natural if left to their own devices. But the lights, we never heard anything about those lights. We know wisps. Well, well Liam knows that, but I'm asking if Vax I would does. say have, have, have both of you guys go ahead and uh, roll history checks for the both of you. 
Just next and vax. I was gonna well, say, can I, can I add into History. that too? History! History! No. I would have had a bit of, I was a little, I learned Elven. I was a bit of a nerd. You learned Elven, but but Elven culture and fate and the Feywild are two entirely different Oh yeah, I'm, I'm aware I'm, my head's full of bullshit too, so I'm <laughs> curious, yeah. <laughs> 20. <laughs> 20? Just I'm also aware of my head is full of Okay. Um, <laughs> best you can ascertain, the first worry initially, and you haven't encountered something like this before, uh, were, were will-o'-wisps, were entities that were the lost souls of individuals that you know, died uh, under tragic circumstances in swamps and bogs and, and heavily wooded areas. Um, however, those entities are usually larger and are drawn towards sources of life. The fact that these are much smaller and tend to fade at your arrival means either they're, they're not will-o'-wisps uh, at all, or a different kind you haven't encountered. There's as much information that you can deal with. Okay. I, mean, I wonder if they're fairy folk. Maybe. Now, don't touch. Let's stay 11 paces away. Okay. Uh, I'd like you both to make stealth checks, if you could. Okay. <laughs> Anybody else going up with them, or is it just the two of them? Oh, fuck those pieces of bait. <laughs> can, I, can I climb a tree close by? Go ahead and make, a, make an athletics check. <laughs> athletics. Can I use my acrobatics to hop up? <laughs> ooh, ooh, like swing myself. Parkour, parkour, parkour. parkour. <laughs> Roll athletics with disadvantage. <laughs> just because I'm giving you a chance. A acrobatics with, with disadvantage? Yes. Just okay. because I'm feeling nice. Uh, 24. 24, okay, this this is the one time you've bartered with the DM this time. No, oh no! <laughs> um, I should have saved it! You do manage to to leap across, because these trees are thickly wooded and the, the branch line starts at about the four foot mark anyway, um, it's fairly easy for you to leap up uh, the top of the trees. Not an issue, you vanish up under the canopy. You two, what'd you roll for stealth? A 20. Uh, uh, and a 12. All right, and Liam, what'd you get? Uh, I didn't roll anything, I just wanted to call out, you couldn't have used a broom for that? <laughs> Nope. All right. So as you guys, you yeah, know, we're, we're keeping about 11 feet. So 11 feet, okay. At least. You uh, you approach uh, this stone structure, which you see now is the corner part of a wall. It looks to be like there was some some sort of a, a small structure here. Best that you can make out, uh, all of it's heavily covered with vine and ivy. All the places where the stonework is broken looks to be through natural erosion or claimed by actual roots. And you can see now part of the tree roots have actually risen up and tore down elements of these walls, and you see broken rubble like barely poking through the very, very thick underbrush of this forest. Um, whatever was here was built a long time ago and has been mostly reclaimed by the forest. Inner corner or outer corner? Are we outside uh, the structure? The corner is facing you guys, so you're on the outside Five. of where the structure would have been. Um, it, it's like a ruin? Are there, or are there walls that continue on? Uh, th this is a ruin, but most of it's been just torn down and it's not visible. It's like sections of walls available. The largest piece is currently the corner you're facing. Interesting. I'm okay, can I do? Um, go ahead. Uh, uh, I'm just going to sit and quietly sketch for a moment. I'm taking everything down. Can I do like a, a like a check to to see if I can recognize who might have built this stone structure? Make a history check. Um, ten. You have no idea. <laughs> okay. Uh, you, you, the, the planes you've studied are the planes of the elemental form. Mm -hmm. The Feywild is a little ways outside of your realm of any sort of uh, training or story time you've been given growing up. Okay. Um, most of what you've gleaned about it thus far has been based on the conversations you've had in recent weeks. All right. Are there a lot of pastel colors all over the place? Uh, I mean, it, it ranges from, at least in this forest, a very, very deep, lush, Dark green, like a wind, like a like a uh, heavy winter's pine green. Uh, the forests are more a vine wrapped, uh, mossy, uh, kind of willowish trees that kind of hang down. Okay, so not like crazy LSD colors going. No, however, the evening sky, the, the clouds are very like purple and orange, like 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 around a very bright dusk, um, and that that color scape does contrast with the green of the forest quite beautifully. Is it dusk? It looks to be getting to dusk, yeah. It may or may not be. Um, um, what does that mean? It means nothing. Time is oh, different in the Feywild. Uh, is there's not, so time there's no carvings on that I can see on this outer wall. <laughs> not, from, not from 10 feet away, no. And the vines that are climbing on it, are they flowering anything at all? Is it? Uh, uh, the vines that are there do have what would be like small, uh, small whitish flower buds, the little flowers that are kind of just blooming in a small scale across the vines. Do they look like anything that I 
we'd have on our plane? Uh, not particularly. I mean, they look like white flowers in the distance. You have to get closer to inspect directly. Can I do that? Sure. Be very careful. Nothing here is exactly what it appears to be. I won't touch it. I won't touch, touch it. anything. Touch I'm, just, I'm just gonna, I just, it's so pretty. And don't insult it. Well, well, yes? Do you want to go higher and get a bird's eye view? Maybe that's not safe, but... That's what I'm, us... that's why I'm staying in the trees, brother. I meant even higher. I will if it looks safe. All right. Does it look safe? <laughs> I mean, it's, the canopy is ah. very thick. <laughs> And uh, only in these small little uh, patches of, of meadow, like the one that you entered, and it had all the pools in it, and the one that you're entering now, which has the ruin, have little breaks in the canopy where you can actually see the sky. Otherwise, it's very thick. So actually flying through the canopy is, unless you're going very slowly, is going to be whipping you and probably Super knocking you off. Yeah. Can I see from my height? Can I see a better view of the um, the ruins and everything? Uh, you can make your way up there a little bit. Okay. Make a perception check. Keila, if you go ahead and approach the ruin to get a closer look at the plants, go ahead and make a nature check. Oh, and this is forest, right? Mm-hmm. Oh, oh. doggy. Uh, 30. Whoa. Okay. Uh, these white flowers resemble a form of uh, daisy that exists in Tal'Dorei. However, they glow, they grow in there in uh, flower clusters out of the ground. The, you've never seen them sprout from a vine, and you, the shape's a little different. You don't actually know this form of plant from your personal experience, but you can kind of ascertain a similar nature to it. Even Nothing with, is what it seems. Um, <laughs> Are they a phasey? <laughs> yes. Are they like poisonous or anything like that? Don't appear to be toxic, no. Can I, can I touch it? As you reach out and touch it with your finger, I need you to go ahead and do nothing because it's fine. Oh, <laughs> you sneaky. As you Starts. <laughs> Here we go. The as you always mean to do them. <laughs> I got a 25 on my perception. Okay. As you rock up past <laughs> the boughs and begin to emerge from the edge of the canopy over this opening, uh, you do see a very large watered pool on the other side of this ruin. You can see where actually where this ruin used to be, most of it has fallen in and sunken into what appears to be uh, a, a, a very, very glassy pool of water, a still surface, untouched. There's no wind in this area. It's just a perfectly reflective surface to the opening above it. Does this, um, do I see any life forms around? Uh, you don't see any life forms. You do see a hint of bare, Minimum hint Air of movement, ass. if you will, uh, beneath the water. You can't okay. make out the shape, but you do see something moving okay. beneath the water. Um, yes? Does this look similar to the pool that was on the other side of the portal? I mean, it's a pool. I wouldn't know. <laughs> it, it looks like water. Um, and you've seen a number that you've come past in this, right? This one's just larger than the others. Okay. I want to pick the f little white flower. Oh, I wouldn't do that. I come okay. down and I watch as Keila mm. makes a stupid move. Okay. Pick the flower. Don't you, pick anything. You Ask pluck the flower. Permission. As you pluck it, the vines begin to writhe and pull away from the stone, actually like releasing the hold on the ruin. And as it does, you hear what sounds like some movement, uh, some uh, shifting of water on the other side oh, of the shit. Stone there was wall. something in the water on the other side of the ruins. Hide, I just maybe? take the flower and I put it back. Uh, Hide. Yeah, the vine has retracted as you set it all towards the vine it just tumbles off. And actually the, the the flower you see now as you reach down it has turned from a beautiful white and has immediately withered into a black dried husk. Oh, I cannot believe you just killed a living Wow, we've being. been here 5 you know, minutes. I was going to press it and keep it. Yes, uh, we can't be. I'm not anything lying. We, we find. should probably hide because there was, there was, where, 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 where was one silence. You hear the rushing of leaves of the canopies beginning Shit. to close over, like the trees are leaning in, and the actual uh, branches themselves are starting to close up the gap in space. Oh. On the, on the I'm sky. going stealth, I hide. Taking it at the grass. Stealth check on both you guys. I'm hanging back with Grog. I've been scratching my back on his knee for a while. I don't see what the big deal is, really. 29. Okay. Uh, 34. Okay. Um, both you guys, you go back into the branch and kind of you feel the branches pushing behind you and you actually have to kind of get low to not be dragged away with the rest of these extending branches that are closing off uh, the opening in the canopy. Uh, Vex, uh, Vax, you go ahead and make your way uh, towards one of the tree trunks and kind of just dart out of the way to remain unhidden. Percy, you're watching this in horror as this I'm is I'm trying to very gently back her up. Okay, uh. it's at this point 
Uh, you guys see a hand creep up over the stone. Oh! A secondary hand. No, this is good. You know, and maybe this, it's up like up his version it. of a doorbell. You know, you pick a plan. Shh, come on, mouth. Pulling up from here, you now see what appears to be a humanoid female form, uh, lithe, hair wet and slicked back, and as the head peeks over, I bow. Uh, and I push her down. Okay. The moment there is any movement, she <laughs> streak, just just uh, flickers and moves back from the wall, looking already very, very perturbed by this whole circumstance. Stay. I need both of you guys to make constitution saving throws. Okay. Ooh. Oh, no. Oh, no. Uh, 21. Natural oh, one. Oh, no. Natural one. As you're shoved ahead and begin to go into a bow, Percy, you, you bow, but you can't take your eyes off of it as the creature kind of pulls herself up over the wall. Uh, a, an extremely beautiful, impossibly beautiful woman, uh, nude, uh, steps up over the edge of, the, of the, the wall, and as you glance forward, everything goes dark. Blackout? Um, Just blackness. Is he still conscious? Am I, ne- do I you, you go ahead and you bow, and he appears to be bowing. He's still standing, he's fine. Uh, hello? Uh, as soon as you say that, the creature darts backward, and you see take a few steps and then leap and dives into the pool and vanishes beneath the water surface. Although, you see that, Keyleth. Percy, you do not. I don't see anything. You just hear footsteps. Um. Oh dear. What happened? Well, we're going to have to find her. Did she say anything? No. She was very pretty. Yes, she was also Are you naked. okay? Are you okay? I think she blinded me. What? No, no, she blinded me. I'm, I'm. <laughs> and you look at Percy, eyes wide open, glancing about, the pupils moving about, he. <clears throat> yes, I'm blinded. I'm blind. Okay. Really? Really, and we I should we should test it out. Yeah, how many fingers am I holding up? <laughs> One. He's a liar. He can see fine. He's a shit. Grog, <laughs> did you recognize that woman? Were you paying attention? No. <laughs> I was working on this spot on my back. You didn't oh, see the naked okay. woman come up over that wall. Where? What do you think of the chances of me having a panic attack? Hold on, hold on, hold on. Um, Did you hear that? I don't yeah, know. I, if, if there was a naked woman, I would have seen it. Oh, yeah. Oh, right. Can I, can I? I'm going to curl up into a little ball for a minute and rock. <laughs> okay, Percy, Percy now calls him to the ground and begins rocking back I and hop forth. Permanent. I come down out of the tree. We can fix this. Mm. Can you just can be quiet for two yes. seconds? Why did you make it aware of the noise? Like is very, what? Shh. Grog. What? There was a naked woman in a pool. Go on. <laughs> that reminded me of maybe the pool on the other side. We were jumping over from close to that portal, right? Could it be the nymph that you stole the heart of? She was very pretty. I don't know, maybe. Would it be safe for you to see her again and maybe ask for her to cure our friend here, or would you, um,. Is well, she dangerous I mean, to be around? She didn't blind me. <laughs> what did she do to you? It's none of your business. <laughs> well, I worry if we go try to talk to her, if it's not her, then she could blind all of us. I don't know. My chick didn't blind me, so if she did, I think we need to kill I'm her. I'm going to take out my Dragon Slayer longsword okay. and stand up and start using it as a cane. <laughs> Find my way to Grog and poke him with it. Okay. Uh, make a make a perception check. Better. Uh, that's eighteen. Uh, okay. You uh, as they're having this conversation, you just a tap, find your way over, and sure enough, no no person has a, the leg density <laughs> that Grog does, and you're pretty sure you have your mark. Gonna give it a good little whack. <laughs> Oh, I'm sorry, it's so hard to see. I'm sorry, I need to be more sensitive. No. Look out, it's a parrot! And I kick the sword. <laughs> <laughs> a parrot? Yeah, the rabid parrots out here in the Feywild. <laughs> you kicked the sword. The sword. <laughs> oh, you know one. what, just go pick it up. <laughs> <laughs> Don't let me get it for you. I'll hold on to it, since you're obviously useless now. <sighs> 
I'll go pick up the Dragon Slayer Logsword. Okay. Uh, I walk over to Percival. Uh, per Percival, um, I'm worried you're gonna walk your glasses into a tree or something. Do you want one of us to hold those um, for the time being? I'll take them off and put them in my pocket. Do you have something to put them inside of besides just the pocket? I don't yes. want you falling on them. No, it's it'll be. There's a. I've got a thing. It's, it'll be all right. First of all, would you like something to hold on to um, as you walk? Actually, if if you don't mind, uh, trinket. Can I borrow a bear? Yes. Yes, of course. <laughs> a, bear, a bear would be lovely. I pop trinket out. Trinket. You actually have to spell magic today. Mm. Let's hold off. But it might wear off in a Jowls just second. shake as you know. We're in a weird place. Weird place. place. Things can happen. Drink it. We're in a very weird place. A weird place. Things can happen. <laughs> and um, and, and I, I whisper to Trinket, don't crush the flowers. I'm. Wait, actually. Willing to try and make this work for a moment. Let's find uh, this. Trinket, can you help Percival walk? He's kind of blind. Hmm. I, Matt. Mm. Yes. Pike is with us, right? No. 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 Okay. You dumb right. shit. She. She's back. She's back in Whitestone. She's back in Whitestone. Okay. All right. I robot out once in a while on Skype. I guess I missed that. That's okay. <laughs> um. All right. So. Uh, <laughs> this is so weird. Uh, you feel the the somewhat damp, cold nose of a bear nudge under your hand, and then. Mm, Kind of little shoulder lunges into you. Oh, thank you, thank you. Now don't thank walk you, up into any trees, Trinket. Uh, do you mind? I'm, I'm gonna I'm, try and hop on top. Oh. So I'm gonna make a leap to get on top of the bear. Okay. It takes you a little it's, while, but you get up onto enough. the bear. Uh, eventually, you have to no kind of right him. No He's facing the wrong direction a little. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So wait. Can we just be clear? Thank you picked you. a flower. All the trees got pissed off. You went blind. Some naked chick jumped a wall, <laughs> and that's the story of what's happened so far. It's, yeah, it's pretty We are numb. killing Don't it right pick now. Some <laughs> flowers. Five minutes. Don't, Don't touch five anything. Minutes. I feel like maybe we need a change in leadership. I'm just saying. Very large consequences Don't, for picking Don't pick flowers. flowers. Don't nice pick flowers. to everything. Don't touch right, anything. Which way did she go? She jumped over the wall here, and should she's in continue? the. Should we continue? Should we follow? Yeah, Vax, can you get a pair of eyes on her without going blind? I don't feel confident about that. Um, I can try. Which direction was this pool? My... It's right past the ruins, right there, darling. Can't you see? Percy, go home. <laughs> <laughs> Grog, do you want to give it a go? <laughs> we'll go look for her? Just go see if it's her. All right, fuck it. I Peek take around, peek around. Okay. No, and I do like a full vault over the wall. <laughs> you land, feet go into the muddy outskirts of the oh. pond, um, about up to your ankles, but you can see there's the water is now kind of rippled and disturbed from. Can I stick uh, my fingers in the mud? Does it smell weird? <laughs> it smells like probably the Gross. freshest uh, poolside mud you've ever come across. Uh, I'll wipe it across my chest. Gross. Okay. <laughs> and, uh, do I see any footprints from where a naked chick went? No, none. What? She went in the water, Grog. She left no traces. <laughs> Are you sure in the water? She was in the water before. Does anyone want, want to come with me to the water? I'll come Are with you, you to the, the water? water. I'll go with I'll you. I'll go with you. you can't. You're, You're not blind. going anywhere. <laughs> Drink it. No. <laughs> <laughs> I'll go get your eyes back. Okay. okay. All right. Okay. I cautiously make my way down to the, how far is the water? Can I see it from where I am now? Yeah, yeah it's, about, it's about maybe 10 feet from you. All right, I'm stealthily make my way 10 feet towards the wall. Roll stealth check. Son of a bitch. <laughs> you put it in the descriptor, man. I did. That's good, that's 17. Good. Okay. You make your way as markedly quiet as you can. I'm just going to sit on the wall and kind of watch for a second. Okay. Um, you come up to the edge of the water and you can see some of the ripples are starting to, you know, kind of lap uh, across the mud. Uh, the, the mud and silt just continues downward into a, a perfectly clear pool, though the light source has been cut off from the sky now as the canopy is closed. And when a little bit of light happens to uh, find its way through uh, the, the, the forest ceiling, uh, it, other than that, it's pretty dark. Those, however, you do have dark vision, and a few of you do have dark vision, so it's not a huge hindrance within a certain distance. You do see um, what appears to be clouds of silt on the bottom of the, of the water that have slowly found their way close to resting. Um, gonna call out, hello? Nothing. Okay. No immediate response, no. Can I reach in the bag of holding and grab a basilisk egg? 
And can I try and launch it as far as I can into the pool? Yeah. Let's go make a strength check. I'm going to scramble up next to Keyleth to watch this. <laughs> okay. Sitting on the side of the wall. 23. 23. You lob the egg with perfect accuracy directly into the center of the pool. It hits and just kind of floats on the surface, semi buoyant, with just a little bit of the shell uh, revealed on the, on the top. A few moments pass before a few fingers curl up, kind of grab it, and pull it down below. <gasps> oh, 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 I saw a hand! I saw a hand! I saw a hand! I saw a hand! Do it again, do it again! No, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not like Ray Charles. I can't tell someone to track it with my hand. Grog, Grog, do you know how to float? Do you know how to float on top of water? Yeah. You should do that. Yeah, because you should pull him under and drown him. In there. Right, don't we want to talk to her? What if there's more than one her? It went really well for you the last time. Yeah. <laughs> I just figured it went well for you the last time, so you know. Well, do whatever you did You're the, the last only time. one who's done this do before. Something. Yeah, but there were like these invisible steps, right? Like, yeah. I feel like we walked up some kind of steps and then there was a portal. Yeah, and, and then... she used. She came out first. It wasn't like I went to her apartment and I was like, "Hey, well, wanna hook up?" Hey, does this look like the pool you came into on the other side? Does this look like the pool I came into on the other side? Make an intelligence check. <laughs> <laughs> Natural twenty. <laughs> Eleven. Oh. Uh, I mean, you were distracted for the brief time you spent over here, um, <laughs> but it does appear to be similar. Similar? Is this Remember the pool name? you consummated with? No. Oh, <laughs> did she have a name? So you did consummate with her, is that what you were saying? Uh, no, her name was Nymph. Nymph. No, I don't um, know. Why don't you Maybe call out her just name? call out for her. Oh, Nymph! Where the art now? <laughs> sure. M make a persuasion check. <laughs> <laughs> Nymph and I orisons. It's my own, it's my <laughs> Seven. <laughs> you watch as suddenly there's a burst of bubbles under the surface of the water. I think she just farted. Scanlan, Scanlan. What's up? Yeah. <laughs> Whisper to Grog what to say to draw a lady out. You're very charismatic. Oh, yeah. And just oh. repeat what you hear Scanlan say. Okay. Well, you got to come closer, though. I'll come use, closer. A, use your earring. And maybe keep. Oh, your yeah, earring. we got earrings. Cyrano de Bergiac. Cyrano the shit. Sure, I'll show the that earring. Shit. All right. <laughs> uh, uh, oh, nymph, hear my call. Oh, nymph, hear my ball. Nope, call. Call. <laughs> Once we spent an afternoon together. Once we spent an afternoon together. The sun never shone brighter. The sun never shone brighter. <laughs> the clouds were never quite as fluffy. <laughs> the clouds were never quite as fluffy. <laughs> Oh, it would make me a man again to see you once more. Oh, that was too much. <laughs> oh, oh, it, it would, would make, make me a, me a man, man again, again to see you once more. Once more. I, have a small dick. I have a small dick. <laughs> <laughs> Another burst of bubbles comes up from the surface as the water begins to break, and you can see uh, a, a very uh, beautiful water-colored uh, nude female form that is uh, laughing uproariously. <laughs> oh, <I> just <laughs> it has been some time. <gasps> it's her. Oh my lady! As she takes her hair off the side and kind of like gets the water out of it <laughs> and shoves it over her shoulder, she steps up and this time her feet touch the surface and she walks on it like it's solid. As she begins to step carefully towards you. I apologize for being, uh, well, and she kind of points over towards him. I would recommend in the future, perhaps, more uh, respectful means of arrival. Sorry. If I recall, your name was Grog, is that correct? That's right, my lady. <laughs> Forgive me, your beauty has wiped my mind. Your name was? Nala. Nala. Oh, pretty name. It's pretty good. Yeah, it's pretty good. I shan't, shan't 
Mom. Forget again. Ex again. again. Wonders. Yeah. I watch over this glade. It is bound to me as I am to it. I would hope that in the future you be more gentle with that that resides here. Sorry, I'm just, I'm a huge fan, is all. Hi, I'm Keyleth, by the, by the way, of the Arashari. As you're talking in this moment, there's a sudden sparking sound, like a, a heavy, heavy log has fallen in a forest with a crack and a thoom. There's a flash of light, and she instinctively turns and then just dives beneath the water Jesus. once more. It wasn't me, it wasn't me! As you me. guys glance over, there's a somewhat shimmering uh, form of, of kind of light that congeals into a small gnomish female, <gasps> flickering oh. in and out. Um, as Pike, after after coming back from your goodbyes and walking to uh, the the temple of, of Pelor, now constructed to take at least a moment to begin building a, a bastion for ceremony worship here as well. Uh, you miss your friends so hard in that moment <laughs> that for a brief moment, the divine energies give you one last brief moment to walk beside them across the plane. Hey! Is she really? Hey! Oh, oh, it's been like five fucking form. minutes. Wait, but don't we have a gate stone? A gate stone? Yeah, yeah, but yeah. I'm sorry. I just, I just, it's, I didn't want to stay. Is it Sorry, I was taking care of stuff. Is it because stuff. I owe you two gold? Yes. Okay, here it is. Okay, bye. Buddy! Hi, buddy! Hey, how are you? Hey, what the fuck did you just do? How are you I here? I just how missed a naked you? chick. There's a oh. naked chick. Oh. She blinded Percival with Hello. her beauty. Oh, wow. Well, maybe we can take it. Where is she? Yeah, she, um, she, she went back underwater. Wait, do me a favor. Look. Maybe everybody take a knee and be real chill while I throw down their swag, all sorry, right? Sorry, did I come in at a bad time? Well, you kind of walk by Grog a little bit. No, no, no. yes. I'm sorry, Grog. I was on fleek and now I'm on <laughs> now you, Oh, no. Well, let's fix <laughs> it. Yeah. I just, I had to come. I had to come. I had to come. No, yes. Of course. I just so feel wild, you know? Yeah, you know, it's crazy. I know, it's so crazy. So I know we just said bye, but yeah. had to come. All right, let's do this. All yeah. right. Um, everybody all get down on me. Okay. Nola is a friend, not a foe. Um, she's with me and a, a great ally of ours. With that, Nala steps back uh, through the water, taking invisible steps up to the top of the surface, where you're now up to your, uh, pretty much up to your waist in the pool at this time. Uh, she's now standing directly on the surface, about 10 feet from you. Um, she looks out and looks towards you and I remember you as well. Hi, I remember you. Wait, I didn't. What? I I didn't. I didn't mean to startle you. I I didn't know we, you. Everyone was in the middle of something. She fucked her too. I just no. <laughs> she met all of you guys. I just, oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, no, she did. <laughs> she did. Yeah, oh she right, because she yeah, that's right. But then for she hot went, Okay, got it. But then course, she took grog. Of course, we remember that thing that yeah, happened totally. when we were drunk two and a half so years ago. <laughs> <laughs> uh, she she kind of. I do apologize again for startling you. It's all right. Not many things happen in this glade these days, so when they happen rapidly, it tends to drop my heart a bit. Sure. Speaking of which, do you still carry my heart with you, Grog? As you know, my lady, of course I do. Turns her head. I don't sense it on your person. Oh, oh, um. Right, <laughs> like in actual n no, I, I don't. We needed it for for something. Yeah. So like when last I saw you, I had this horrible bunk in my chest. It was terrible, and in combination with your heart, I was able to remove it and prolong my life, which means I'm here. About your safe. I shall begin the process of creating a new one, then. I'm yeah. glad it served you well. It did, thank you. Many, many thanks. And you have our apologies again for beheading one of your flowers and for making all the loud, snappy noises. This is not the way we wanted to start, believe me. She kind of puts her hand up in the I, I druid craft a Taldori daisy and just kind of give it back to her. I didn't. I didn't mean to hurt. She, she 
nods and laughs. She kind of brings her arm up, and as she does, a singular vine seems to grow up out of the muck and curl up and take the daisy from your finger and just drag it off into the forest. Sorry. If I, if I might ask, um, old uh, bleachy hair over here, take a look at your um, <laughs> your beauty, and all of a sudden went, I can't see anything. Well, that's a hard lesson learned. Is, can you not give it back? Oh, he's blind forever. It, With your striking beauty? It doesn't work that way, I'm sorry. Uh-huh. How does it work? How does, yeah, what did it happen? For the most part, those that fall under my protective gaze, they, uh, they've earned it. I don't consider past that. And my innate talents do not reach beyond that striking, so I'm sorry. We'll figure it out. Yeah, no, that's totally cool. Know. We're gonna put some braille on your gun. As far as I know. I can bet, I bet that Pike that. has a few tricks up yeah, his sleeve. Right. I think I could give it a go with some things. Do you have regeneration on you today? Yeah, yeah. yeah that's good, that's good. I think yeah. it's probably mystical, so as long as, uh, yes, all right. I could attempt to dispel magic Maybe first. Maybe you're just this way now, and you'll have to, you know, your Maybe. other senses will get better. better. They yeah, really, you know, they you, really can, won't. you can rock that's it actually, for a while. No, no Maybe. That's, that's not You said thing. it's been very calm around here. Yes. No unexpected visitors or commotions lately? Not around my glade, no. I'd know. Uh, may I introduce to you uh, Vexalia? Hello. Uh, yes. Uh, Good to see you again. That's right, I forget. Uh, she is seeking um, something in this Yes, place. actually. Um, we all are. Um, have you heard tale of a of a sick tree? Something very cancerous on the land. There are trees that fall under various states of corruption time and time again in the Feywild. Light and darkness dance this eternal one here. Holds a a bow at its heart. It's located in a bog? In a bog. Something about glass. Uncle Bog or something like that? Mm -hmm. Can't be my writing. Near the river of the Gilded Run. That the Shade Merc Bog. The yes. Shade Merc Bog. That's the one. That's the one. That is roughly two days duskward from here. Two days dusk. D duskward? Duskward. duskward. That's west. That's that's west. Okay. Duskward. Or what passes west? I, I just started a page on the Feywild and now it's already missed. There it is. I'm sorry. Shade duskward. I'm very simple. Dusk. Is duskward actually duskward. west? Duskward. 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 duskward is towards the dusk. She points, Mark. as she puts her finger up, you can see the trees relax now and kind of open up the sky above you. And you, you can see the, uh, uh, the direction where most of the, the setting sunlight is being cast into the sky, and she wow. motions in that direction. Are you controlling the way the trees move? This is my glade. We are one. Yes, it's just very impressive. <laughs> Man, can you, like, teach people how to do that? That's awesome. We'll be moving on before yeah. that. Uh, just, you know what? Well, I'll, I'll like, I'll talk to you later about it. I, have you heard anything of this bow or this tree? I have not. Uh, I, I stay here. This is my home, and I am bound to it to not wander too far. What I know of the Shade Merc, I only know through individuals who passed through and kept me up to speed with things that may or may not be transpiring in this landscape, but those meetings are tens of years, if not more, between. We, um... I'm, I'm sorry, have there been any significant changes of late uh, cities here that didn't exist but a while ago? Not, not to my knowledge, no. Uh, my, my understanding of realms beyond this wood and beyond this glade are fairly limited beyond what I've been given by passers-by, and it's been, well, not since you, Grog, stepped through with me, I've not had another cross my path. Sounds lonely. It is my life. The trees keep me company, the roots they speak, the earth itself is sustenance, and the voice, the timeless voice of this land, well, there are many stories here. 
She's so sweet. She I is. I really like her. Yeah. Um, as we make our way towards <laughs> this area, is there anything that you would warn us of? Everything. Oh. Everything. Like, don't pick the flowers. Like, don't pick is the flowers. I've got that Specifically, much. we should yeah. avoid yes, no. specific like, plants, colors. Hands in the pocket mm. policy going forward. Yeah. <laughs> Gauge with care that which you temper. Many things lie and live in these lands that could be evade, and many your own destruction. Uh, words spoken by many who live and call the Feywild their home are in themselves riddles. Deceit is a common form of time passage, and those that wander from beyond, well, <laughs> some would consider you more of a toy or a plaything than a visitor or passerby. Before we leave, is there anything we might bring you on our way back through here, should we be successful? <laughs> bring me some books. Books? books? I like some books. My kind of books, like pictures? Pictures are always nice, but things to tell me of things beyond my sphere. <clears throat> Perhaps the world you come from. Beyond the Frostfield, I know very little as well. I. I have a book on me. Would you like it? Take whatever you wish to say goodbye with. Well, I mean, I basically have it memorized at this point. I've read it so many times. She takes it and kind of thumbs through. That'll be 30 gold. <laughs> 35. Yes. 35, make your money 50 back. gold, yeah. <laughs> mark, mark up some bits. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Closes it. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, um, is, is there any, before we set out, uh, you've told us what to be wary of, everything. Is there anyone out there we can trust if we come across them? Depends on what you seek and what your reasons are. I mean, trust goes always. The difficulty is finding who is aligned with your ideals, your intentions and your goals, and who isn't. What I trust little... practically no one. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry, were you talking to me? <laughs> just pointing at you, just nod. I do. <clears throat> what were those little colored lights that disappear as we get close? Oh, face specs. They are small entities that uh, care to the underbrush of the forests here. They're not dangerous. Do they lead you anywhere? Oh. I'm sure they lead you many places, though none of them may be where you're trying to go. I wouldn't trust them to guide you. They, they themselves are very deceptive and trickery-loving entities. But they help me keep the glade in the forest. It was so low, oh, sorry. <laughs> I was just, you know, just wondering if you have any sort of, I mean, you know, you're very well versed with this area, any form of protection that you could offer us or recommend to us as we move forward in this confusing land. Any last bit of advice? <laughs> Make a persuasion roll. Twenty-six. Wow. She kind of thinks for a moment, holding the tome under her arm. Well, I have minor magical capabilities. Perhaps I could harden the physicality of one of you and wait to aid. It won't last long, but it's something. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Any assistance is more than greatly appreciated. Maybe Gronk? No, I definitely don't need it. I'm good. Who's all tender? You mean tender? Well, Vax. Percy Vax. at this point. Oh well, that's true. Yeah. Maybe as a maybe as a. I'm, oops. Yeah. <laughs> How many of us can you uh, embolden? <laughs> I'm, I'm a bit useless at the moment. Uh, no, don't sell yourself short. No, we'll, no. we'll get you cared for. Oh, you're great, you're great. <laughs> no, I know what you're doing right now. <laughs> I can feel it. She steps forward and kind of, as you're having this conversation, she puts her fingers towards the front of your forehead and touches your skin. 
Um, you feel a surge of warmth through your body, though blackness still takes your vision. The rest of you watch as his skin suddenly turns to a dark brown and crackles. Oh, oh. For a brief moment, you, you fear, um, but notice it's like his physical form. All parts of the pinky flesh of the human Percy become hard like tree bark. Oh, Maybe some bark. that's distracting. You got Ooh. wood. How's it feel? I, I sniff Percy. It's like a fine cedar. It's nice, it suits you. It's very masculine. It's a musk. It's thank nice. you. I'm still angry with you, but thank you. God, carve your name in him. Holy shit. Most you just consider oh, for one just, minute. I just put the pistol slowly in the direction of his voice. <laughs> <laughs> well, lady, I, I do appreciate your gift, and I do apologize for my friend and for startling you earlier. Uh, it is my deepest regret that I cannot take in the, the majesty of your, of your realm. For the <laughs> of your realm. <laughs> oh, well, keep your wits about you. She didn't blind me. That's the finest defense you have against this uncertain landscape. It was a true joy seeing you again. We'll try to bring ourselves by this way on our way out as we can. I appreciate that. It is good to see your faces as brief as it is. Well, wish us luck. Well good luck and safe travels. Oh, As we walk away, I give Percy a wet lily. <laughs> I bow to her before I leave. Does she go for? Yeah, the, yeah, yeah. We does do she that go too. for the, the the wet lily? No, I give you a wet. Are you willy. trying to give? Are you trying to I'm give me a wet lily? I'm giving you a wet lily. I say again. I bow before we leave. <laughs> it's not a range attack. Missile snare. <laughs> uh, so you bow. Well, well, wet lily is not a range uh, attack. She turns around and begins to walk back down the the. <laughs> Visible steps you see her taking as she drifts deeper into the water, and actually, kind of just before she disappears beneath the surface, she looks over her shoulder and smiles at you, Grog, and then disappears beneath the water below. Be honest, you totally. What? Did you? Oh, uh, what? Did you? What? What's wrong with your mouth? Did you? Did you know it? Did you get it on with her? Did you like? Population, Grog. Population. She means population? to do the thing. No. There's yeah. no population in that. I think it's just her in there. Mm. <laughs> Missile snake. I like the beard, though. <laughs> I noticed. Oh, that's right. You didn't I have will the beard say, before. The we guild wasn't off the lily there. As you guys are having this conversation, there's a brief sound as Percy, even amongst his blinded state, whoosh, catches <laughs> Keyleth's finger in midair. I still don't say that's a range attack. I still don't say that's a range attack. <laughs> Gross. Don't that's say that out so loud. Sick. While the children um, play, I make my way towards the dusk direction. All right. <laughs> there. Under the ward, the shade, Merc. Uh, Can wait, I hold on. I believe I was standing next to Keyleth, so I stick my pinky into my mouth and I shove it into Percy's ear. Ha <laughs> <laughs> ha Wet Willy is All happening. Right. Uh, flanked by Wet Willy's, uh, Percy. One is halted, so but in the distracted moment, and the stealthy rogue being what he is, uh, you feel the the slimy insertion oh. of a single Ow. half elven digit you into your ear canal. I say, Keyleth, that is really immature, really. What is the matter with you when I walk uh -huh. off? <laughs> <laughs> All right, we go. You, 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 you know want to see? I'm still angry at you. <laughs> We should, we should, we should fix you. Yes, yes, I can fix it. But let's just all remember that the episode title is going Consider to be the slimy payback. insertion. Consider that payback. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Apologies for that. <laughs> is there any like rocks or debris or like little pebbles around on the ground? Yeah, I mean, there's, there's plenty of like stone debris. Uh, the larger small, stone. I'll take a small pebble. Okay. Pike, you really should do what you can to help Percy. All right. And I toss the pebble at his face. Okay. Missile <laughs> snare. <laughs> With disadvantage. Make a perception check. Okay. Uh, See, that is a range uh, attack. Twenty-six. <laughs> he catches the pebble out of the air. <laughs> I mean, you have it pretty, pretty <laughs> well. You're very My kung fu is far stronger than yours. All right, Pike, do All your right, thing. All right, we can fix you. I don't know if he needs it. But well, I know, no. I don't know if you need it. I have dreamed about coming here since I was a little child. I'm going to see this. Okay, mm. okay. Wait, wait, let's all just think about this for a moment. Don't do anything hasty. Everybody, let's back up slowly. Okay, okay. <laughs> it gets really quiet suddenly, Percy. I'm on a bear. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Tree it kind of stops and... It's okay, Tree Gitt. Pike, if you do this thing that you're going to do, will it take away his bark skin too? Possibly. I don't know. That's why I'm a little nervous. Uh, well, you know, that's well, just how it goes. You know, and to be fair, bark skins—it's all right. It's all right. 
Maybe it's temporary. Just Dark skin is temporary. Just yeah. give it like a week. Oh, the blindness? I don't know. I'm willing, you know that you're all wearing their earrings. I'm willing to give it, <laughs> it's dangerous as it is, but. I mean, it's no. clearly hilarious, but Percival is our sharpshooter. I don't know if we hey. want to. Blind sharpshooter he is isn't one very of helpful. our sharpshooters, thank you very much. Oh, God. Well, well, why uh, would we want one when we could have two? Let's try it then. Yeah. Let's do it. Uh, a blind sharpshooter might not be the best in the Feywild. I would just throw it out there. <laughs> Shame if your broom breaks. All right, lay oh, hands on <gasps> Okay, well, it's really, well, hey, I want to heal you. All right? I know. I I don't want to do you want to be healed or not, Percy? I didn't give you a wet willy. <laughs> Jeez, first you say you're mad at me, Quick, and then I... you ensnare my hey, melee people, wet willy. People, we're tearing ourselves apart in the Feywild. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm just reminding the dear what sign her bread is buttered on. Let Pike get rid of this <laughs> blind spot so we can all be together again. <laughs> <laughs> I mean... <laughs> Right. How long has he been working on that? Well, that was a walk. Critical role, when you come for a high fantasy. Ah. Come here, <laughs> give it a go. All right. Wait, 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 Percy. What, what? Say you're not mad at me anymore. Say, say, hey, I know I've done things in the past to piss you off, and you know, maybe- Trink, Kill it, kill it, kill it, kill it. Kill it. lurches forward and starts Am I a reckless human? Yes. So when I say you shouldn't probably touch anything, that's probably a really good reason, right? Mm, yeah, you know, it's just, are you going to hold this one against me because I picked a flower? Only to Trinket's kind already. of like how you held Trinket, the glass come here. against me. Trinket's begin dragging him away from you Get towards you Are going to go hold you. against me like the clasp? Huh? Huh, Percy? Do you need inspiration, Pike? No, I think it's okay. So I, I, I'll, I'll go up to him. I'll have my revenge, but I love you. It's okay. I'm get my way up. I love you too. Trinket and cast greater restoration. Okay. So as you you clutch your holy symbol, your uh, kind of flickering divine form drifts over towards the side of uh, of Trinket. You reach up and touch his leg, and the warmth of the divine energy surges through his leg. You can see it almost like a sparkle up his chest. Little light rays kind of peering out from beneath the clothing. He comes up his gullet, up the side of his face, and his eyes flash white for a second with beams of, of gentle sunlight just shooting out for a second. Uh, the darkness becomes blurry, and your vision over the next 15 or so seconds returns to normal. Oh! You see? Yes, much better. Hi! Hi! Hi. It's so Hi. good to see you! All right. oh. Is he still, does he still have bark skin? Yes. Yay! Yes. Look at that. I come up from behind and give him another wet willing. Ah! <laughs> see, see, right. I got you even when you were had your eyes. Man, I'll make you a deal. Yeah. I'll make you a deal. All right. What? What? Oh, yeah, what? Yeah, what? 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 Can we start moving forward? Yeah, we just leave. Yeah, we're moving. Yeah, we leave them. Yeah. All right. All right. Yeah. We'll keep moving. Okay. okay. You guys catch up to the rest of the party, who's now moved on ahead. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh, making oh, your way sure. through this thick forest, I, like um, I would like you all to make a perception check. Perception check. Perception oh check. Perception? Yep. Nice. Ah, that went, uh, that went away. Nice. 19. Natural 19. 19. 27. 11. 24. 25. Oh, 10. <laughs> 14. What'd you get, Liam? 24. 24, okay. Uh, 25s or higher, which I think is Keyleth uh, yeah, and Vex. Um, you guys push through the forest for about another two hours or so. While we do that, I take Percy's bark skin and make it, I, I regal it out. So I give him some little moss epaulets. Not Sam Regal, but yeah. Yeah. I give okay. him moss epaulets, grow some flowers on it, give him a little white a stone tree. flower crown. Okay. Uh -huh. Fancy tree. I'm fancy making him a fancy tree. 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 Fancy Two hours of travel towards the direction of the dusk, Touching keeping the taps on the best you can, you being the tracker you are, you notice that the, the night hasn't come. The light in the sky itself has not changed. Um, the dusk hasn't waxed or waned, there's been no change in the sky, light, or color whatsoever. Um, the dusk seems to, at least the past couple hours, been perpetual and unmoving. Maybe we're in the dusk lands. I feel like I remember hearing that the time here is very strange. 
It stays at a constant, correct? Well, not necessarily. Kind of. I think it's Maybe malleable. you just move slower here, I don't know. Or well, we are moving towards dusk, correct? We're moving towards the sun. You're moving towards sun? that. That, that was the one direction you were given by the nymph, yes. <laughs> it could be that we are either stuck in a loop or that we are simply in a, an area of the Feywild that is eternal dusk. Well, Does she it said it like was, we're moving forward. She said it was two days' travel. To dusk. Duskward. Travel. So we have to pass a dusk at least. That could be years. It could. Mmm. Wow. Um, Do you think it, it's safe if I fly up? And no, you might as well. Nothing's safe. Do I see oh. any birds or anything like that in the sky? Any wildlife? Any critters? Make a perception check. Critters all hey, critters. Yeah. Critters, yeah. Everywhere. critters everywhere. Critters everywhere. I'm 27. Oh, sorry, 21. No, see, yes. 21. Uh, yeah, okay. Uh, you glance up uh, the next opening you have in the canopy, and you see occasionally uh, flock of birds go flying by. Uh, there is definitely vibrant wildlife, and you've seen throughout the forest here uh, skittering squirrels and other creatures that live here, though themselves being kind of skittish and uh, running off as soon as your footfalls begin to hit that portion of the forest. Uh, there is a very vibrant uh, kind of critter lifestyle here within this part of the Feywild. Should I, should I? I'm going to try flying up. Ding. Yeah. All right, I'm going to try yeah. flying up above the canopy. Okay. You come above the canopy, having to maneuver around some of the larger branches, and these trees are tall. Um, you probably get yourself about 100 feet up before you finally break the canopy. Wow. Oh. Um, and as you coast over the top, you can see now before you. Uh, this forest is vast. Majority of it behind you, and you can actually see what appears to be the edge of the forest line, uh, maybe about 10 miles up. Oh, nice. um, and just past that, you can see what would be rolling grass hills before a mountain line. You can see uh, in the distance, very, very far distance, um, make a perception check. I'm assuming I'm not in the forest anymore, right? Uh, this would be looking beyond the forest, so yeah, I would not have advantage. Uh, 17. 17. You see a faint glimmer of some kind, something that stands out as like a, a reflection or bead of light amongst the, uh, the, the grass fields beyond the forest. Um, you're unable to really tell the, the distance, but it does stand out as it just kind of like occasionally flickers. Flickering? Do I see any sort of um, sign of a city? Uh, not from this perspective, no. Uh, mostly it just like looks natural from this view. Uh, also, the, the clouds in the sky are slowly moving, like normal clouds, but, and you can see in the distance what appears to be a uh, sun that has just passed beyond the mountain range, but there is no change in the, the light. The sky looks the same. The same it was everywhere. since the moment you arrived. Well, at least we know we've made some headway. I go back down. We had. There's a tree line, at least. I think we should reach it soon. And if we don't, then we know that there's a problem. Exactly. And just remember, in theory, from from what little I, I know, the prettier it is, the more dangerous it probably is, and the older it is, the more dangerous it probably is. What? Things get prettier as they get older here? That's not fair. Maybe you... Just the man. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, let's keep going then. Yeah. Okay. You guys push on uh, for another three or so hours. Um, we're not out of the tree line yet? Uh, at the pace you guys are walking, you just begin to push outside of the trees. Um, it was hard gauging the distance from that period of time. That was kind of the rough estimate based on the perception roll. Mm -hmm. uh, you begin to just watch the tree line thin a bit. There's still many trees around you, but the density is beginning to scatter, and you're beginning to see more and more light let through from the treetops, uh, and the trees themselves are not as tall as they were towards the central bulk of the forest. Um, Vex, you do catch to your left side suddenly what sounds like a first a little hiss, but instead it comes to your ear as a chuckle. <laughs> Hello? What? Did you hear something? Is somebody there? Make, make a perception check. Oh, natural 20. 
natural 20. Uh, you glance out of the corner of your eye and you see about four trees behind you, some uh, outline of a shaded figure that darts behind a tree. Um, did anybody else see that? What? Say what? Say what? what? Okay, cool, cool, cool. Um, did it look like childlike or adult-like? Uh, in between. Uh, okay. Um, we got a problem here? Just be ready. What's wrong? Which direction? Behind us. Okay. I'm going I to saw go. you. Let's get back to back, shall we? I'm going to just sit backwards on the bear while we move forward. Okay. I'm going to go back to back to the twins. Did you want to say hello? Response. All right, I guess we'll just have fun over here without you. Are you sure you really saw something? Laugh like I just told a really funny joke. Oh, <laughs> oh you kill me. Oh, oh, Man, who I would know, want to miss this? I know, it was really funny. <laughs> oh my God. I didn't know it's a nun could so curse funny. like that. I didn't know you could tell funny jokes. Anything? Uh-huh. <laughs> All right. You guys continue making your way towards the edge of the forest, and shortly after, the tree line does come to an end. Uh, there are small clusters of uh, trees, but beyond that, you're now opening what looks like a, this uh, nearly endless grassland. The grasses themselves swaying with a breeze that's just starting to catch up. You can see the waves, they curl over these low hills, and this, this beautiful, deep, verdant green emerald color that just kind of shifts and cascades over and over and over. Um, as you begin to step into the grass, it's high. It's like chest high oh, to uh, to the to the half elves, about a little blow waist high to you, and the gnomes are swimming through grass at this point. <laughs> hey, buddy. Oh, this is fun, though. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I keep staying down there doing the breaststroke. Oh uh, no! I was I'm done. Say, it, it occurs to me I don't actually have to ride the bear anymore. That's true. No, you Do you guys want to ride Trinket and see? No thanks. Yeah. I'll ride Grog. Hey, yeah! I'll ride Trinket. Yeah. Sweet. Okay, so you're up on Trinket. Plus get off. Trinket! Do you still have the, uh... box skin? Yeah. Nice. I'm he looks Gro good, I'm too, Groot. right? See, I look. Yes, it's so she, fancy. She's, she's, she's done me up. Yeah. I give Trinket a scratch where he, it makes him, like, go weird and start, like, like the head, Scratching and it goes back, like, <laughs> does the spot. He just up and, and gives you a lick, but it kind of, like, pseudo-passes through your form, and Trinket looks really confused and kind of tilts oh, the right. bare head to the side. <laughs> <laughs> that's right. <laughs> Sorry, buddy. <laughs> oh, as we're walking, do okay. Well, well. First question: Do I see any form of path through this grass, or does it just look like endless? It's just open field, cool. directionless, and before you, um, there is still the dusk ahead of you, and that's the best directional uh, point you have right now. But there is no worn path. There is no uh, road or street. There are no signs of civilization. It looks like just an endless field. It is beautiful. I played the original Legend of Zelda. I know if we go up, left, down, left, we <laughs> should get out of this field again. Shoot the bush. Um, yeah. Yeah. The the flicker of light I saw in the distance is that. Are we going to intersect it the direction that we're going? Uh, you will get near it. Okay. It will be so I'll keep an eye in that direction as we move forward. Okay. Um, but I wanted to talk to you, Keenan. Yeah. Um, so I've 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 been trying to find out a way to to talk to Trinket like I know you can, right? Oh yeah. And sure. I was wondering if maybe you could teach me how to do that. <gasps> teach you? Uh, do you think that's possible? I don't know, but I'd like to try. Okay. Yeah, that'd be fun, right? Okay. Um, can I do something like that? I have a spell slot available to first speak to animals that I never claimed that I want to learn. You want to take it? Yeah. Okay, as you guys begin to walk through the field, you begin to uh, reveal some of the druidic secrets of animal communication mm -hmm. uh, to Vex, and over the course of the next hour of travel, over See, the over thing is, you kind of have to get the accents right, right. for each critter, okay. or else they could get a little offended. Oh, all right. You know, you so, you know, yes. mm -hmm. <laughs> totally, so, you know. Mm. She, I keep going. She, she bestows well. upon you the uh, the elements of it. It's less about vocality, and it's it's being able to to connect on an empathic and emotional level, where creatures can speak to you less out of words and more out of the 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 idea of emotions and thoughts, um, which our human minds 
or mostly, in some cases, half human minds, uh, except as words. But right. there is no actual speech that they're talking like, hello, my dear. Uh, so one of the things you know, that I like to do is just to kind of like embody the animal, mm. you know, and that it can kind of get you like in the mindset of I where they're coming from. Keep that in mind. You know? So let's let's just pack you know, let's let's practice being trinket together, you know? So let's I let her just do that and I'm just gonna keep walking. <laughs> yeah, she does it for a while. Yeah. She just I keeps go up going. To Grog. <laughs> I'm learning <laughs> so much. See, see, so you kind of gotta like, mm. you know. I think we're all learning. This yes, is so this great. Is a, I wish I walk that up Nala to had it. cast blindness on me. <laughs> 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 can I walk up to Trinket <laughs> and say, "Hey, buddy, can I'm you understand me?" Everything. Do you cast the spell? Yeah. And uh, Trinket kind of turns to you. Mm. Do you understand me? Yes. <gasps> <laughs> I hug him so hard. Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! You kind of grab Trinket? him. I don't think Trin Trinket doesn't seem to realize any sort of difference. Trinket. But you understand me all the time. Yes. Oh, darling. Oh. But now I understand oh. you, and it's wonderful. Okay. <laughs> okay. Quick question. Do you mind being in the little in my necklace, or does it bother you? What's it like? Is it terrible? Because I don't want to do it if you hate it. Uh, it's a little lonely, but. Oh. I haven't been in there very long. No, you haven't. Okay, well that's good. Oh. Well, I basically just wanted to say that I love you. I so just much. I give her a thumbs up. I love you too, bitch. Oh. <laughs> I start crying. Big really lick outside really your face and kind of nudges his head against you. Oh, oh no. this is the best film ever. I can't believe I've ever seen before. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, true. I'm really so Thanks, Keely. <laughs> the accent's really good. Thank You're doing you. a good job. Thank it's you. very good. As, as Keely kind of, or as, as a, a trinket nudges you, and she says, "It's okay. I can stay in there all you need." Oh. Thanks, buddy. I can watch you through there. Oh. You can. I can see you. You can. Wait, you can. <laughs> yes. Cool. It's kind of like when you know, like. Your dog comes in the room when you're peeing. It's a little awkward at first when no, you hear good, about it, but it's fine. It's okay. Grog, <laughs> <laughs> you've actually been in there, so you kind of have an idea of what he's talking about. If you understood what he was saying, which you don't, because oh. you don't. Have Boom! A what? I'm just <laughs> yeah, I'm just imagining like the genie bottle. Oh. From, yeah. And I just yeah. thought, like for a while, I just want to, as long as my spell lasts, I just want to keep talking to Trinket and like catch up on old times and you hear about do, it. You guys do, and he talks about how he. <laughs> He uh, mm. kind of hated it at the time, but is, in hindsight enjoyed the memory of the, the pie contest and white stuff. Oh, right, that was so good, right? What about getting his hair done with flowers and Do you remember the, the bows? Oh, yeah. He tells you that was fine, but you can tell through the it's subtle soft, bear right? undertones <laughs> that he wasn't too happy about it. Yeah. Um, but the, everything has this tone of basically whatever you need and anything for you. Oh, there, there is an undying loyalty and love uh, from Trinket that you've always felt, but now to hear uh, in language form is is very moving. Mm. You're having a fun I'm, uh, montage. I'm watching quietly. I'm watching quietly the whole time with a smile at this bear that I've known as a cub, grunting with my sister grunting back, and it's very <laughs> touching. It's very touching, and I'm just <laughs> very touching. I love it. I love so the Feywild. I love the Feywild. I love the Feywild. I think the whole thing's fucking weird. Keyleth yeah. <laughs> wipes away a little tear at. Same. I'm sitting on Trinket, just swiping away tears. <laughs> yeah, we, what, oh, yeah, no, no, we're walking, we're walking we're forward. We're still walking. We've been walking the shoulder away from the tree line. Yeah. You guys keep walking. Yeah. And you keep walking. You still haven't hit that tree line? Can I have been around? Past the tree, line, right? the, tree the tree line, you're in the grass, but the grass, you've, you've, it's hard to really gauge since you have no sun in the sky and you don't have a central time piece of any kind. Do we feel tired? Well, hold on. Can I spin around and see if the grass we've been trampling on is leaving a trail? Uh, no, none. Really? No trail. No trail. Oh. It's like you never stepped through behind you. The grass is parted where you walked through, and then looking behind, it's like you were just dropped in the middle of the field. Is anything following us? Make a perception check. <gasps> there was that kid that we talked to. Good call. Talked a to? Deathly eight. There was like a, a creature in the woods. That you saw. Magical. I saw it. Nothing. Yes. Can, can We're I, good. Can I check? Uh, 
Yeah. It was following us. Give me a perception check as well, yeah. Vex, Vex, good. Did you, do you feel like just popping above the, uh, just getting a little bit of a bird's eye yes. really quickly? Perhaps. 14. Uh, glancing about, there was just a smooth grass line, no sign of any other We're movement. We're clear, team monster! No wait one's about, following us. What about this? What, what if, wait. <laughs> don't tell can, it, don't tell it. Just leave it up trees? here for as long as it has to be. Gone, but there's no trees. <laughs> <in there. laughs> just, just, just grass. Just grass. Um, I, I will turn around. How, how far away are we from the tree line? <laughs> Where you guys left? Yeah. Uh, it's. It's visible, but it's quite a ways away. Okay. So we uh, have been we're making moving headway. Away. Yeah, it's okay. just it's just the rolling fields and the hills of of this. It, it, it are. It's compare. It's comparable to almost the the width of the valley between the Cliff Keep Mountains and the Stormcrest Mountains on Taldore. It just seems like such a vast space with no immediate like scattered landmarks. To where in, in your head, which is used to gauging your position from small changes in the scenery. It's, We're gonna it's, die it's mind numbing. No, it feels yeah. like it's endless. We have, we have food. We, we can, we're, we're on our way. What if this is a week's journey? What if this is two weeks' journey? She said two days south. She said, she said two, two dusks, dusks south. Two dusks south. What if this is a month? No, so she said two days duskward. Two well, days, two days duskward. duskward. So she See, did say two, two days. days. But does that mean days two in days our, in our? Yeah. Does that in mean two that days understand. in the dust or two days that last an eternity? Two days. It's well, two days. Wait. She said two days duskward. That's all you. We're but, but, fine. It's wait, but you were saying she would. She was using two days in a way that we would understand. So I don't we think we know discern. what she would understand. We don't know. You we know don't know. She said two days. I'm feeling pretty confident. Me too. I'm, I'm fine about not this. having a lot of stress. Let's keep grooving. I think we Sun's keep moving. Up. We're still walking until it's time that we all think it's time to take a rest yeah. and we'll take a nap. Yeah, when we feel that. tired, I mean, I do want to make sure that nothing's following us. On occasion, and make sure that nothing. We checked around. it out. We're should we, solid. Should one of us circle nope, back? Yeah, and nobody's just following us. Double back and make sure no. that no one's behind us. No, no, no. We get separated. We'll never These find each other again. We stay together. All right. Then we'll keep going, and I'll just keep reading my do book we, on top of Grog. Do we still see the uh, flashing light in the distance that she saw? Uh, only at That's times. On. Because uh, you kind of, when you go below the hills and these like deep valleys uh, before you come to the next hill line, uh, it kind of cuts off your perspective in the, in the future. But as you get close, go ahead and make another perception check. Uh, Vax, as you're keeping an eye on the back of Trinket. Wait, you said Vax. Do you mean Vax or do you mean Vex? I said Vax. Uh, 18. 18. You s the source of the glimmer is becoming larger, but you can't make out any details, and there are actually kind of a few glimmers clustered. Okay. And it's one of those things where it's not like a perpetual, but like right now then you just like a... Well, we are heading towards something. I'm not sure what it is. It's an erratic. It like seems, erratic. seems erratic, yeah. Okay. Something's on fire. It's a party. Um, Press on? Yeah. I mean, what else are we going to do? Yeah. Definitely another yeah. beer. All right. Press on until it's time to rest. Yeah. yeah. All right. You push on for a few more hours and Trying to think back how long you've been here, and the, the time passes in, in, in a strange way to the point where you have no way of understanding really how much time has gone by. But you're starting to get a little, a little tired, uh, like you would towards the end of a day's worth of travel. Um, you come up over a large hillside, and you can see now there's a base of a mountain range that uh, you can kind of make out a little bit in the distance that meets up where that flickering is, and you can see what appears to be now the source of the flickering. Um, there looks to be a, an, some sort of a, a civilization. There, there are towers, there appears to be uh, a stone ring around it. Uh, it's hard to make out the details from this distance, but it looks fairly large, and it's kind of in the side of the mountain range. I say we camp here, uh, here. I think it's a lovely idea. What's around us? Just grass fields, pretty much? Just grass fields. You get to the top. As far as you can see. <laughs> well, as far as you can see, and then uh, it, the, the hill line eventually gets so high in the distance where you can't see past it. Right. And you see the mountain range and whatever the source of this glimmer is, this, this strange uh, city-like series of structures uh, at the base of that mountain range. Yeah, let's like, set up shop, drop. Can I fly up on the broom and uh, See if I can see anything in the field around us, or look for any kind of movement in the grass. Get your hat. Yep. I put my fucking hat on. <laughs> it suits you. It's not. Like, I'm going to use my optics 
to try and sketch what I can of the city for the moment and sort of get a general idea of it sitting down. And okay. Starting to get an idea of it. All right. And does it look like anything from my sister and my memory? Uh, it's, it's... Go and roll a perception check on your end as well, Vax. And me? Uh, 20. Uh, you, Not a natural. As you getting up, sure, I make one. So you get a better view as well. Uh, 25. 25. Vax, is, it's hard at this distance to make out much of the information, especially with the grass being as high as it is and mm. uh, the hill beyond it. Uh, for the most part, the folks that can get a clear beat are those that are above the grass line and keeping a keen eye, which Vex is. Oh, oh uh, whispers, whispers, oh, whispers, 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 whispers in the night. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> this is like, this is the anticipation the you feel before you open a loot crate. <laughs> now, not knowing what it could be, like could it be good? Game. Could it be bad? I don't know. What you do know it's... is that it's three dollars off if you use the code Critical Roll. Yeah, that's a cost. Oh! <laughs> don't try and super cyan me. Amazing. I got you. Oh, actually. Maybe go through back. Oh, oh, not quite. Oh, almost. Not quite. Wait, maybe the bigger one. Maybe the bigger wait, one. Wait, wait, wait. He's been chewing oh. on that. Just yeah, so bigger one. Bigger one. In addition to that, do I see anything in the grass around us? <laughs> Uh, from what you can see, there is, um, every now and then you see just tiny little bits of movement in the grass, maybe a quarter mile to one way. You can see a similar type of winding shape in the grass a mile or so the other way, it's even further out. Uh, there are other things moving in the grass, but none of them are breaking the grass surface. But they appear to be singular, at least in the shifting and movement. Uh, you do catch a smaller source of movement in the grass, no more than maybe 30 feet off from where the rest of your party is currently walking. Can I fly down near it? Yeah. Uh, sh you swoop down. And uh, you catch over overview uh, of that, and you can see what appears to be a small humanoid that is kind of curling through the grass line. Uh, looks human. Uh, big, thick, curled beard, very, very coarse, dark hair. Um, a, a muscled torso, uh, stocky but strong. Um, would appear to be. Uh, or at least what appears to be a light blue vest that is kind of covering the upper part of the torso. Um, most of the buttons missing, and the bottom of it kind of tattered and worn. Uh, the hindquarters themselves are fur, and come into cloven hoofs, and you can see a small pair of horns hooking off the back of the head. This individual is kind of skulking through the grass, carrying what looks to be a small book and a long quill in a hand, and is like occasionally leaping up over the grass line, landing, and then drawing something in the book. Does he and see me? Leaping over the grass, he does not see you at the moment, no. You're overhead. I I want to float down kind of above him on the broom and like lay down on the broom and say, what you drawn? <laughs> <laughs> uh, as soon as you come down and, and whisper, the tome slams shut, the figure stands up straight, <clears throat> slowly turns the eyes towards you and you can see kind of the, the dark and ruddy skin, uh, you know, the, the kind of uh, sun-touched nose and cheeks, uh, d just a darker, uh, more leathered texture to them, uh, but the eyes are piercing ice blue as he looks back into yours. Nothing. Nothing um, at all. Just, just taking notes. On um, those people up there? Yes. Oh, interesting. Because, why not? Why not? <laughs> I, well, um, you know, you probably could get a better view of them if you were riding on this broom. <sighs> you see, it's, it's... If you're worried, it's not me you need to worry about, it's him. And points past your shoulder. I'm not looking. I'm not falling for that. Nope. Can I inside check him and see him? I can inside check, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I love this place. I'm not falling for that. I love, I love this. 16. 16? <laughs> oh. Uh, he seems like a slippery person in general, mm. um, though he is caught off guard and right now is in self-preservation mode. Um, it's hard to really gauge if he's telling the truth or not. 
I'm not gonna bite you. Uh, I I don't. I'm not a biter. I'm not a biter. You're not a biter I'm not, either. I'm not the biter, and this area starts backing up towards the grass. Can I fly down and grab his wrist? Uh, sure. And fly up. You grab his wrist and fly up. <laughs> I need you to go ahead and make a uh, a grapple check. So uh, go ahead and make an athletics. Oh, okay. I love all of this. <laughs> oh, man, I love it. Athletics or oh great. Rodeo that. Fifteen. Seder. <laughs> he pulls away, and as your hand grabs his wrist, he attempts to slip his finger, his hand on <laughs> fingers just pull through from your grasp uh, as you double over your other hand and grab him by the yes. elbow and you lift up and pull him out of the grass field, now dangling his little feet in the middle of the air. Um, <laughs> as he's being dragged up, the uh, quill uh, gets dropped and he kind of looks forward and the book is tumbling out of his hand. He grabs the book and just kind of clucks at himself. What are you doing? Now what I spin you? around and see if there's anything behind me. Uh, there is nothing visible. Oh, Nicely oh, done, sneaky little shit. fuck. Don't BS a BSer. <laughs> <laughs> please, please, please don't. This, this is really high. This is really high. It really is. I think we should go say hi to my friends, don't you? <laughs> okay. We're in need of company, dear, and we fly down. No. So to everyone. You shh, drag him down the broom, coasting right over the grass line, presenting you and your new compatriot. To the uh, rest of Mach Machina. What did you find? Well, look at this friend. Oh, I just no. found. <gasps> look at you. Adorable. <laughs> Dangling from her grasp now. Go on, grab him. <laughs> gentle, <laughs> frog, gentle. Gently. gently. He did nothing hey, to us. Friend, you look like a smart fella. Let's have a conversation. Don't talk to him. Do frog. not. Frog. What is this? He's um. He what are like you? His... Who are you? What are you? Uh, I I am but a, a, a simple uh, wanderer and uh, an individual who enjoys uh, learning about things that are uh, new and different. Squeeze him. Don't no, squeeze him. Don't squeeze, don't squeeze him. him What's your name? <laughs> Garmili. 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 What are you reading? Garmili. Ahem. What are you reading? Not, nothing, nothing, not the reading, it's not for No reading, just reading. drawing. Percy, mm -hmm. you know, He's our friend Percival good. here, I he likes draw. to draw as well. I did quite a bit, let's see this, let's see your oh, work. Oh yeah, compare notes. You guys look out of your grasp, but there's nothing. <laughs> You're just concrete around him. I, with one of my fingers, can I go like, give him a little tickle? <laughs> <laughs> no! I'm Whoa. very, I'm going to very gently put my hand on the book. Okay. And take it. It's a very, very finely bound book. The leather is is is, in, it's impeccable. It's oiled. Uh, there's there's a brass metallic trim around the edges of it and the binding. There is a thick uh, piece of like red uh, velvet strip that is set as a bookmarker in the center of it. May I? <laughs> <laughs> That's the best face ever. <laughs> Gamili, now I saw what you were drawing and it was quite lovely. Don't you want to share? What's the matter? Are you scared? You might want to tell us what's going on before we figure it out for ourselves. <laughs> this is your chance. There's really nothing going on. I was just curious and taking notes. I've been taking notes myself. Oh, for what? Yeah, you guys should compare notes. You know, cross references are always good. You wouldn't understand. Um, you don't could you help tell us. us. Can we have that hunk of? Uh, <laughs> not that's going to help here. Um, the hunk of coal. It's I'll, I'll it's step, expired. I'll step forward and put my hand on his shoulder and say, "Listen, where?" where Which, by the way, he's being held up by Grog right now. Well, so. Put him on the I'll ground. Put his toe then. You? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'll say, listen, listen, little man. I'm I'm little too, and. You have nothing to fear from us as long as you just cooperate. And I, I will cast suggestion on him. Nice. And okay. I will suggest that he fully cooperate with us and tell us all he knows. What's the DC? Well, I didn't use the hand cone, did I? So, no. 18. Big money, no win. Okay. Oh. Is the book safe to open? I don't as, know. As, as you t touching his leg and looking up at him, there's that kind of shimmer of purplish energy in your eyes, and he kind of gives you a look. Right, no no, no worries, no problems whatsoever. Whatever you need. Can I go find his feather quill that he dropped? You don't know uh, that he dropped it. You, you don't know about the quill, you just know the book oh, that he had. I thought we, okay. Tell us, tell us, uh, 
Can we open the book? Do you want to try to open the book? I'm asking, is it safe to open? For me? Yes, it's quite safe. <laughs> What's at the book bookmark, may I ask? And I slowly start to open it, the bookmark. It's just uh, where I'm currently making notes. These be nudie pictures. I'm gently opening it. All right, the, um, the picture you come to uh, as of right now, is Whoa. a very, very <laughs> finely detailed sketch of um, <laughs> of Grog. Oh, very well drawn, but he has bulging eyes, big buck teeth, and what looks to be like a very, very <laughs> tiny penis. <laughs> um, <laughs> What do you see? He's, he's brilliant. <laughs> he's he? captured every everything. It's it's truly spectacular. Well, what's it a picture of? He's a little. He's a little. He's a little shithead. Why <laughs> <laughs> has he drawn us? He's a little. Prankster. I turn it. <laughs> Don't kill him. Don't kill him. Don't kill him. Don't kill him. There's nothing wrong with drawing oh a funny picture. <laughs> Art is subjective. <laughs> Oh man, he nailed you, Grog. <laughs> what other Goliath has been troping through this place? <laughs> uh, many, many, so many. That's, I'm gonna, that's I'm gonna, start, I'm gonna start gently flipping through some of the pages. Uh, there are drawings of uh, the entire party, <gasps> but with like extremely exaggerated, cartoonish <laughs> parody pictures uh, for Pike. Her head is. Extremely like, large, <laughs> like, oh, like, whoa, like Six whoa. Flags Magic Mountain character <laughs> kind of vibe. Yeah, okay. yeah. With like, like a hint okay. of Mad Magazine. Right. Sure, yeah, uh, political uh, ad style. It's, yeah. it's based. There's like just, just. A political. It's, it's essentially a, a book full of dick butts. It's just, <laughs> it's just him, him drawing and vandalizing the image of a number of you guys. Uh, like there's a picture of of what looks like uh, Vax and uh, and Keyleth. That are both um, just covered in poo and like slapping it on their face. <laughs> and like I've written written in, in Elvish, I love this. Like with the word bubble, it's it's essentially just like a, a a kid entertaining himself with a bunch of stupid pictures. This is an awfully expensive book to be to be drawing that in. So one. my question is: Is this just? Your your hobby, your pastime, or are you an actual records keeper for? Whatever town this is, because both would be humorous. Um, no, not no, no record keeper, not I'm, for the town. No, I'm going they... much earlier in the book to see okay. what's there. You start seeing what look to be um, a number of of elven individuals. You see people in like really really nice regal armor, but all of them are like just pooping themselves. <laughs> Um, there's a bunch of, 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 of elvish ladies with just oversized floppy boobs and like smacking each other in the face. It's, it's truly, All the way truly the childish. Oh my god, he's the best. But they're all really well drawn and well shaded. Like there is a serious talent to the artwork. It's just his skewed intent of, uh, of imagery is, is fascinating. Gummy, yeah, I'm, what? I'm, I'm in the mood to hear this guy's life story. Get him the I know. This. All right. I love them, honestly. I think you're quite They're talented. Should we, should we make camp here and invite him into the mansion? Oh. Oh. What, what is yeah, the name? As long as he's secure, yeah. What's the name of this little town here that we see? Oh, that, well, uh, that 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 is the um, I yeah, can tell you that the city of Singal, and they've been here for a, a little while, and they've been a, a, a gracious source of subjects. <laughs> and where do you live when Singal's not here? I live wherever I please. I choose my place to rest. And um, where do your clothes yes. come from? Where do you live? Yeah. Do you have any family, hey. friends? I've got family and friends all over, yeah. <laughs> They're just a bit ways away. Um, so you know this area quite well? I know it well, yes. Mm. So you could would. potentially guide us? Well, I, it's hard to guide when you're being crushed by a giant green, gray man thing. No, I'm just saying, is there anyone that would miss you if you're gone? <gasps> well, <laughs> be nice to our guest. <laughs> We're in the Feywild. <laughs> I have a deal for you. To things. Mm. We could offer you uh, dinner. Dinner, mm. delicious dinner. Chicken. chicken. Have you ever had chicken? It's so wonderful. Chicken. Yes. Also a bath. If. If. 
You happen to lead us where we want to go. Ooh, where do you want to go? <laughs> We'll get into She'll that tell later. you in a little bit. Yeah. yeah, crack out the door, homie. All right. And to, to sweeten the offer, oh. mm -hmm. after you've had dinner with us and we send you on your way, perhaps we will consider giving you your book back. Perhaps. I fly off and I go grab the quill. Make a perception check. Oh, Jesus. Oh, yeah, that would be hard to fell fucking in the find. Of a tall yeah. grass field. Oh, natural 20. Make it into the I didn't make it into the square. I was it was pathetic. Twenty seven. Oh. You spend the better part of the next twenty minutes. Twenty minutes. Jeez. Realizing that there is no way you're finding this quill amongst the grass. I'll I mean, see this you. is this is this is the needle in a hay factory. Yeah. You know, it's. Mm. On. All right. Can I pat him down just for any uh, weapons? <laughs> oh, sure. Give him Make an investigation down. check. Ooh. Ooh. Little got, TSA. He's got seven dicks. Uh -huh. <laughs> like Nine. Uh, from best you can find uh, throughout his body, the only thing that catches your attention is a, a, a now crushed ocarina that he had oh. <laughs> in oh. his pocket um, that did, did not survive the, oh. the grasping of grogs. That's sad. We can fix it for well, we'll, well, we can make you a new one somewhere, hopefully. Maybe we have Give me the bits, give me the bits. Ram Neely, we have a very bad track record when we make friends. <laughs> we have been burned badly a few times, and I just want to make it clear that you will be watched while you're here. Come in, eat, enjoy yourself, but multiple people here are keeping an eye on you, understand? I understand. Um, Look, if we're to strike an accord here, uh, one of uh, friendly trade of services, I would greatly appreciate it's done uh, uh, without this very handsome muscle bound. I'll sneeze right in his face. <laughs> you see, it kind of so mean. off his nose. Uh, without this man trying to smash my innards, please. Rob, let him go. Well, not go. Yeah, Just no, put him down. down. Yeah. I can put Rob, him down. Put him in down the and put your hand on his shoulder. Let's go, you, are we making yeah. camp here? Should we think get into the house? Let's, let's hold there. hands let's... as we walk through the door. All right, I'll cast the mansion. Okay. I'll just sit down and sing, my house is a very, very, very fine house <laughs> with chicken everywhere. Life used to be so fair, but now it's better because of me. <laughs> <laughs> As you, uh, as you finish the incantation, the shimmering doorway of uh, Scanlan's magnificent mansion uh, outlines within the grass field, only emerging about a foot beyond the actual tallest part of the grass. Um, you kind of have to bow down and get into it, but you guys all enter, along with your new friend, uh, uh, Garmili, into the mansion itself. We'll go ahead and take a break there. Oof. Oh, um, oh and we'll jump back into this crazed circumstance here in a few minutes. Um, so yeah, we'll see you guys shortly. Um, yeah, a few minutes. All right. How does Loot Crate obtain such exquisite geek and gaming treasures every month? They rely on the best. Every month we curate an epic mystery box of ridiculously cool surprises with amazing themes like cypher and fantasy. Heroes, villains, you get it. Every last crate containing exclusive, one-of-a-kind items. Then I deliver it to you for under 20 bucks a month. And I guarantee it'll be worth at least twice that much. You're welcome. So get yourself a Loot Crate. Seriously, you already missed out on this one. LootCrate.com. Epic wins every month. Hey, guys. I have some important but awesome and exciting announcements I need to go over. Promise me you won't freak out, but we're gonna be ending some shows and taking some time off on some shows, but that means you get some super dope new shows and we're revamping nearly our entire schedule. So anyway, I'll start with the bummer part. Uh, Game Together and Back to School are going away for good next week, starting July 11th. AXYB, Drama Club Heroes, and Group Hug will be on hiatus. We'll be taking some time off from those shows, calling that the end of season one, and we're gonna return to them after we have some time to work on the next season. Okay, the hard part's over. Let's talk about the new shows. Take it away, Lucas and Dustin. Hi, I'm Lucas. And I'm Dustin. And Ryan's not here right now, but he'll be a part of this too. Every day from two to four Pacific, we're gonna be bringing you Pit Crew. Pit Crew. We're gonna play games, and you can watch us play games, and you can maybe play games with us, too. This is an informal show, so we might have too much work going on someday to make Pit Crew, Pit Crew. happen. But otherwise, we'll be here 
most days. Fit crew. Fit crew. Right here, every day. Bye. Bye. Hey everyone, I'm Minz Vikrami. And I'm Marisol Farah. And we'll also be joined by Matt Acevedo. And we have a brand new show for you in Geek & Sundry called Ready, Bet, Go. In Ready, Bet, Go, Minz, we, Matt, and I will be playing multiplayer games with you. Mm -hmm. And you guys are gonna get to bet coins fake internet coins, not real gold coins, on who you think will win. And at the end of the stream, whoever has the most fake internet coins, again, not real coins, will win a prize. <laughs> Ready, bet, go. Every Monday, 4 Pacific. See you July 18th. Bye. I'm not Ivan, but I'm speaking on Ivan's behalf because Ivan's somewhere else in the country right now. But we have some really cool updates coming to No Survivors. First, we're adding Trisha Hirschberger to our regular cast. If you don't know Trish, don't worry, you'll love her. Also in the coming weeks, we'll be doing some tweaking to No Survivors to take it in a new direction I really think you're gonna enjoy. That's the same cast and the same time every Monday, 7 Pacific. Hi, I'm Amy. And I'm Whitney. And every Tuesday at 4 p.m., we're gonna be bringing you the How To Squad. Yes, and we're gonna be giving live demonstrations from amazing people who do amazing things. They're gonna come teach us their thing, whether it's a professional guitarist showing us how to shred, or a magician showing us where their cards are hidden, or maybe an astrophysicist teaching us how to blow up the universe? Yes, we're, we're gonna, gonna learn, learn that. So see you July 12th at 4 p.m. Pacific time. Hi guys, I'm Hector Navarro. And I'm Darren DePaul. Oh, what a voice on that guy. And we're here to tell you about a brand new show that is gonna be happening every Tuesday night at 6 p.m. called Geek Streak. Geek Streak! We're bringing you guys a weekly, geekly new show with a guest, either one of our friends or maybe somebody from the voiceover industry field that Darren might know. So wait a minute, you're telling me it's going to be weekly and geekly. You bet your ass, Darren. And at the end of every episode, we're gonna have a call-in guest from the chat, maybe one of you guys watching right now, that's gonna go head-to-head, toe-to-toe, with our guest in a trivia, geekly news, fill-in-the-blank challenge. And if that person gets five in a row, well then, Darren. Well then, you're on a geek streak. That's why the show's called that. It's Geek Street. Geek Street. Geek Street. Geek Street. Geek Street. From here, from here. Geek Street. Geek Street. Hey everyone, I'm Cameron Rice. I'm Elizabeth Payers. And I'm Whitney Moore. And we got a really cool announcement. Because you demanded it, we're bringing you a brand new show, Public Viewing. It's going to be hosted by the three of us plus a guest. We're going to be watching public domain movies live with you, the audience. Cameron, what is a public domain movie? Elizabeth, that's a great question. A public domain movie is a movie that lacks copyright, either because it's too old or possibly some paperwork just wasn't done. Unless you're Mickey Mouse, he'll never go out of copyright. <laughs> but because of that, we're gonna be able to watch movies live with you, the audience. You're not gonna have to go to Netflix, you're not gonna have to grab your DVDs. We're actually gonna be able to show it to you and you're gonna be able to watch it with us and a guest. Whitney, when does this thing drop? Great question. You can watch this every Tuesday starting on the 12th at 8 p.m. Pacific Standard Time right after the How To Squad. It's gonna be great. All about it. Public viewing folks, grab your beer, grab your popcorn, take a seat and enjoy the show. See you Tuesdays. Mwah! Hey everybody, I'm Erica Ishii and I'm here to tell you about our new Wednesday show, Game Engine. That's right, you saw it during open beta week, you loved it, we listened. I'll be discussing the latest gaming news in depth with a soon to be announced co-host and we'll be listening to your opinions. We'll also be playing games with developers and interviewing people in the gaming industry. So, we'll see you there every single Wednesday at 4 p.m. Pacific. Game Engine! Uh, Lucas, is concession stand still gonna be here? Yeah. Okay, cool, thank God. Uh, same place, same time? Yep. Uh, one more question, is Tino gonna replace Adam on the show? Thinking about it. Woo! Party. <laughs> hey guys, it's Becca, and I wanna tell you about my new show for the new lineup of Geek & Sundry's Twitch channel. Oh wait! It's the same show because it's awesome. And I'm going to see you at Game the Game every Thursday at 4 p.m. And Ivan's going to be there too. You know that redheaded traitor? Yeah, so we'll see you then. All right, unfortunately, with the, the changing of all the schedules, Critical Role is going to be canceled for about six months. This will be the end of season two. And hopefully, we'll be able to join you again in, in, in a little while. Yeah, after so Burning Man, fun. a few cons, yeah, yeah, a few some cons. stuff. Just a little break. Just go, See your faces right now. I wish we could see your faces. What's up, nerds? We're here to tell you about a brand new show that's happening here on Geek & Sundry, spinning directly out of the incredibly fun yeah. show episode that we did for the MDA charity stream. We're talking about Brick Battles, colon, Tower Defense. We're bringing you the show every week, yep. Fridays at 4 p.m. Pacific. Uh, it's gonna be so much fun. We've got guests. Yep. All of us are gonna be there. Yep. Uh, another great host, Trisha Hirschberger, is gonna be on the show. Trish, Ooh. she's the coolest. 
And uh, why don't you guys explain what the show's a little bit for people that have no idea? Yeah, we've got these cool towers, and we're going to be shooting, shooting at each other. And uh, we've got guys running across the battlefield and trying awesome. to get power ups. And, awesome. Yeah, it's like a power up such game. as like maybe a puppy cannon. Ooh, all those puppies are dead. Gone. And check out all these little minifigures. They're so cool. I got the Queen of England over here, and I got a bunch of different characters right here. Yep, Plus, dude. I don't want to. Uh, get you guys uh -oh. too excited, but you could potentially affect the outcome yes. of the game itself by boosting this up with power-ups and new characters and all these different things. Yeah. On directly, top of that, directly affecting yep. the game as it's going Directly on. affecting the game. And on top of that, the future of the show could include maybe some of your favorite themed brick characters from pop culture. I'm just saying, I'm really, really excited. Yeah. Brick Battles, colon, Tower Defense. Join us July 15th, 4 p.m. Pacific. Yeah. Hey, that was a Queen of England. Six to seven p.m. Pacific time. Join robot team made for a real terrific time. Brands and EJ coming at you with the rad lift. My name is Chris. I like to swing around a bat lift. Robot team made in the accidental party show. Robot team made in the accidental party show. Join us for a do re mi fa sol la ti do on the robot team made in the accidental party show. Robot team made in the accidental party show. Show. Robot Demon the accidental party show. Join us for Adore Mi Paso La Ti Ido. Robot Demon the accidental party show. Oh. See you on July 15. Hi, I'm Steph. And I'm Erica. And we are revamping Gather Your Party. So we'll be the official host starting July 15. We're going to split it up into three segments a performance, a video party game, and some sort of game that we play with our fleshy human bodies. Fleshy human bodies! Does that make you uncomfortable? Totally uncomfortable! <laughs> <laughs> we'll also be airing some sketches shot by people that you know and love here. And unbeknownst to Lucas, I'm going to add a segment where I teach Steph a new vocabulary word every week. <gasps> we love learning! <laughs> Again, guys, all this new programming launches next week on the 11th, except Ready, Bet, Go. That will be launching the following week. We hope you love this revamp, and we hope to see you there. Hey guys, I have some important
Welcome back, everyone. So, uh, a couple quick things. Uh, forgot to mention at the top that, because I guess I can talk about it now, uh, Gen Con. Uh, oh, can we talk sure. about that? Yeah. Can we, we talk can about talk about this? Uh, I'm, I'm talking about it. I, they, have, they have a critical role panel that they announced in the, uh, uh, in the, what are they called? Programming? Website? Things they put out. The Press release. Yes, one of those. Um, the emails, the newsletters, thank you. Uh, critical role uh, stuff happening. Uh, I will be there all four days. Um, so panels and stuff coming up cool. Uh, we'll have more info as that gets unveiled, but those of you going to Gen Con, uh, hopefully I'll have uh, some cool stuff ready for you then. Um, awesome. But that's one mention. Also want to give another thanks again to Loot Crate for being our awesome sponsor. Woo! Yay! Um, ding, ding, ding. Go to loopcrate.com slash critical role and put in the singular critical role word <laughs> phrase to get your $3 <laughs> per month subscription discount. Uh, and we have hit 20K subscribers, which Whoa! is Yay! Yay! Um, I've just been notified that uh, once we hit 25k subscribers, that goal, whenever we reach that, will be 25k and a talent show. So kind of, I guess a lot, of the, a lot of the hosts and people involved with this show and others have a lot of random, weird-ass talents that they want to reveal on the internet, because what could possibly go wrong? Um, so that's something to look forward to. And we'll have other things intermittently, um, giveaways and, and other goals, but that's, that's the next big goal that's been put out there as far as I know. So I uh, want to let you guys uh, be aware of that. My talent includes taming otters. Whoa! I wish Whoa. I wish that. That's, that's, that's what finger? I was. No, I was just. That's was, that was my other the, stupid talent. That was a shocker, I think. But I just wanted an excuse to have an otter here. Shocking otters. There you go. Like the sloth. And, Save uh, it for and the you know, show. we we missed the sloth. So if you know, anyone wants to bring out an otter, <laughs> I'd be okay I, I, with that I too. You didn't miss anything. The sloth. It super fucking slow. Yeah. No. Oh, it was, it was magical. So Maybe a baby panther. <gasps> what? Red they have That's so random, buddy. I want one. <laughs> I want one. Between two K and a red panda. That's just. Between two K and a red panda. Oh my god. Between two K and a red panda. Oh my god. Oh, no, and all the official. animals. That's, that's not official. Twenty five K and a talent show is gonna real. Kill you. You're gonna get an email tomorrow being like Matt. But only if they're Unofficial. rescued. <laughs> I don't want any zoo animals. No I don't want any animals. badly no. poached animals like no. mean taking them from their environment. Yes, like they were almost badly poached. Yeah. It's already been killed. Terrible. Yeah. No, I know, that was terrible. I hate zoos. I like a nicely poached. I want a nicely go. poached baby panther. All right, like guys, so. All right, okay, 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 okay. Back no, 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 no. in the game, as you guys find your way into the interior of Scanlon's Magnificent Mansion, um, oh. yeah, the, uh, the, the individual, the, the fey creature known as Garmele, uh, nervously walks along with you. What do you wish to do for an evening's rest is taken? I stand at the door. Let's have some chicken, like Dad. Let's definitely have some chicken. Let's just have some food. Let's put two let's put two guards on him. I put twenty guards on him. So <laughs> twenty guards, that's a lot of guards. But the servants just kind of <laughs> shimmer up next to him and he's like, no. Hello. Guys, let's have a carpet picnic tonight. Can we have a carpet picnic? Let's is sit there on the carpet? floor. Yeah. Is yeah, there a carpet? There's, there's, this carpet, there's a nice rug. I mean, it's like a nice thick we have shag. Beds. Oh, it is a shag? I just want to, just, <laughs> oh, yeah. just a picnic, just a picnic. Just a, you know, because we're in we're the Feywild, it seems appropriate. We're not in, we're in the Feywild, we're wild. in the house. We're, we're in the but Feywild, in the Feywild, we wild, in the house. tables. You know, I, I just thought it'd be fun. I would have a picnic with you, darling. Thank yeah. you. I sit down next to the satyr, yeah. and I stare at him like this a little bit. Hi. What do we want to know from this little twerp? So? Why don't we eat and we'll get to the questions All in a little right, bit. Let's bring, give him a rest. I kind of shocked him when I abducted him. All right. Do you shed? Uh, <laughs> a Do you grow a thicker coat during winter time? Winter <laughs> seasons, it's not really a thing. That's cool. Here. Do you grow horns? I mean, they grew. That's awesome. <laughs> Do you I... care for any ale? Yes, please. Or a crack out the big ass cask of ale. I would like some of that as well, Grog. Same. Pass it around. All right. Pass, it around. Pass the ale around. Pass it just, just skulls it. Just. <laughs> well, all right, Tiny Toons. Nicely done. Can I just pull Vax aside for a moment and ask, do you, do you want to go to Singhorn? We could avoid it. Well, we know no one here, except for this guy. 
Right. We need to find you that boat. And I don't relish the idea of dealing with our father again. But it seems like our best bet. Right. Of course. We should go see them. Are you sure you want to go? Of course, why wouldn't I? Please. And I walk back to the group. I'll give the Sator another drink. Mm. Mm. I say. He greedily drinks it down. Can I, can I like pet your fur? Is it coarse? <laughs> Healy, you're being Healy, weird. that's a bit forward. That's a bit weird. So touchy today. I'm, he's. I know, I understand. I just. So, if we're here to talk and make this deal we're discussing, what is it you want from me? Is he looking any more drunk? He's looking a little, slight slur. Slice Can I have some more Sorry. ale as well, Grog? Mm -hmm. Keep it coming. Keep it coming, all all around. Yeah, fine. So, honest opinion, how are the how are the what is the disposition of the people in that city over on the hill? Ooh, well, um, you can be frank. We're not from around here. You can't offend us with your opinion of them. It's a busy place right now. I mean, we haven't seen the city of Syngorn and. Close to 100 years, at the very least, and they have an entire army building up right now, and places really? just hustle and bustle. They have, an, they have an army building up, why is that? Uh, hell if I know, I just wandered through and used that distraction to acquire a few things and uh, make, make some fantastic notes. Acquire what? Things? Oh. Do you steal, darling? I don't steal, I borrow indefinitely. <laughs> <laughs> Are you just like pinch small things though, like little gold trinkets? You're not really. Um, this is not really a talent of yours, is it? You're not. Are really we talking like klepto stealing or career? Um, I I just take things that look nice that I think I would want and take Where them. Where do you steal these things? Are you a pickpocketer? I am no. Simple street thief. I am a procurer of wayward items and objects that need a better home. I think you should know that this door that you walk through in this big house, if you steal anything, it shreds you into ribbon <laughs> when you leave. Make a deception check. Fuck. <laughs> Six. Oh, I'm sure it does, big man. Well, it, your knee. it'll disappear if you take it. It certainly will. <clears throat> well, good to know. <laughs> Chicken in your belly goes, then. Try. Look, I'm not going to take anything from you. We've already proven far more of a match for me than I had ever anticipated. And uh, what was meant to be just a simple, fun game of follow and follow. <laughs> it's turned into a much more complicated circumstance, so I'd like to get it over with as soon as possible, if you don't mind. Are you mind. not having fun? We want you to at least enjoy yourself. My right? quill is gone! Oh, You've threatened me in I my life! I searched for it, I searched for it! Is that all? Was it a special quill, or Look, was it a regular it quill? Look, sentimental value, I can get another, I just... I'm sorry. What can, what do you want from me? We want you to take us to this place. <laughs> yes. <laughs> this place, this Merc place. The Shade Merc. Oh, the Shade, shade Merc bar. Want to go to the Shade Merc? Yes. yes. Is this Whatever scary? for? Why would you go to the Shade Merc? It's a very for scary tree know. there. I mean, the, yes! for us to know. Yes, why? Ixnay on the... On Wait, the... What, do you, what do you know about the Shade Merc? Stay the hell out of it, uh, certainly. <laughs> okay, a little, little more about my guest. More than that, friend. Yeah, a little more. Your glass is looking empty. empty. You must know something, or else you wouldn't stay out of it. Takes it from you. It's and kind of sloshes around. And <laughs> <down> <laughs> gestures, like, it's a dangerous place. It's it's been a source of vileness and ichor here in the Feywild for hundreds of years. It's it's a terrible, horrible cesspool of nothing. I'm so sorry, this is getting everywhere. Um, Don't worry, the servants will get it. Be it's terrible because of what dwells there or because of the place itself? Both, all of it? What dwells there? Creatures, things, trollish, slime you are creatures. You're making and, this up, aren't uh, you? <laughs> Do you have drawings? Have you drawn things from there? 
sketch to think of too. <gasps> Which page? Flip, flip, flip. Tell us, tell us. Uh, you take a moment to scan through, and, and there were all sorts of creatures. Uh, all <laughs> drawn stupidly, good. many with like extra private parts like, coming out of shoulders and stuff. <laughs> yeah. um, How does that even work? Around, oh around page 163 of 4-ish. Uh, and you see... Um, well, Melee, you have a And there are creatures dirty all month. throughout, but, the, but, but at that page in particular, you see uh, what looks to be... Uh, a lanky, tall humanoid that is just like oozing kind of a black, Ugh. thick, like viscous tar. Mm. Um, it's shaded in a way where it looks like it has that that side of that type of glaze that only thick oil like substances really give off. Um, it really is very good work. And it's just dragging this absolutely unnecessarily large dong behind <laughs> it, about four feet. And it's just, every picture looks pretty good to a point. And you're like, yeah, uh, yeah. really? We banned it with the dong. Gamili, that creature, is it? Is it very large? No, it's a little bigger than you. Oh, shit. Mm. Just sure isn't takes drink back. Does it have a name? What's this called? Tripod. I haven't gotten close enough to Tripod. it. Tripod. But you know how to get there if you do this picture. I know how to get there, but it's not an easy or let alone safe route. Well, we'll protect you. So are you saying that as part of this agreement, I will be your guide to the outskirts of the Shade Merc? Because I am not going in there. I mean, if you want your If you back. have heard, have you heard of a very large, well, I don't know if it's large, a very scary tree there? Something poisoning the land? The well, land there is poisoned. I haven't gone within myself. I'm sure there's many poison trees. How far from here would you thing. say it is? Uh, day and a half, maybe? Yeah. Mm. 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 Dusk word, sea word, maybe? He's been very helpful. Maybe he could just point us in the direction. No, no, no. we're taking him. Oh. We're taking I mean, him as far as we can. We need guides who know the land. Then? Let us make the other side of this agreement. Mm. Right. Want me to be your guide? You'll give me back my book, says the drinker. Back my book. And he kind of looks at the rest of you. You seem to speak like you know thievery. Yes. One of us is the a member of a thieves' guild. Um. There's there's a few things in that uh, that there dreary elvish city that I uh, haven't the skills to procure, but if you wouldn't mind maybe oh borrowing them for me in my stead, well, we've a done deal. Borrowing them indefinitely. Yes, what are we discussing exactly? Quid pro quo? If you will. <laughs> I've got no problem stealing from any of those people. Me. Yes, but the devil's in the details. What are we after? Tell me a little bit more. <laughs> Who are we stealing from? We make the agreement first. <laughs> Say again? We, we make, make the agreement, the agreement first. first. I don't know. Well, consider it a bit of trust. Balls is what that is. <laughs> let, us, let, us, let us add an addendum then. If we are going to steal things from you, you will not only take us to the bog, but you'll take us to our final destination. Nope, nope, no shade mark. I'm out. Sorry. <laughs> or we could just kill you here. Are we killing we people? We don't have to kill him. kill him. Oh, do I get to grab him again? Yes. No, Remember, wait. you have to be nice to things in the Feywild. We this is what we've learned. We have a power of a position in negotiation. I'm a master negotiator. No, 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 no. <laughs> oh, what is gone. he doing? Bink. What? Who's getting whispered to? Oh, shit. Percy! Mm. Percy goes blind again. <laughs> <laughs> Every five minutes. This is interesting. Mm. Uh, 17. A roll and a re-whisper. What? what? Oh, shit. Very wild. Slippery. Sneaky. This is crazy. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> Whoa. Interesting, interesting. You just said the C word. <laughs> said a lot of the things. F word. The G word. <laughs> what? <laughs> Look. It if it's that important to you to go to this dark place, then keep the book. All right, I can draw more. I just... Oh, I've got an idea. Oh, do you? We, we broke your, uh, your ocarina, correct? Yes. Why don't I try and fix the ocarina? We give him his book back. We 
take a couple things from those people and just get on our way. Mm. We can just get on our way. Just, Wait, not, just not have him? him at all? No, let's make the deal and get this moving. This is like, this is a place where deals happen. Let's do it. Well, you're usually so, like, picky about details. You are. What if he asks us to steal somebody? We're talking about a pantsless cartoonist in the middle of fairyland. I mean, to, we're going to de uh, we agree to the deal. I guess he presents that's true. It and then we're there. If we can't, if we can't steal the things, then the deal is off. Ah, it's that simple. We both go our separate ways, and good luck finding the shade mark on your own. <laughs> All right. It's it's kismet, in my opinion. Well, I trust you, Percy. If you think it's smart, can I insight check Percy? Because he's acting a little strange. Same. You can make an inside check, but he's not acting too far out of his normal place here. Yeah, but I've done inside checks before because he's Percy. <laughs> <That's fair>. <laughs> <laughs> Did you do it? Yeah, but I didn't get anything. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, I got a fifteen balls. I mean, it's it's a it's an interestingly tense conversation. It's hard to ride one way or the other, but you know. It's it's a valid point. If worst comes to worst, and what he's asking for you, you know, is beyond your grasp, which means you wish not to do, then the deal is off, and you go your separate ways. We're in the Feywild. We're going to make a deal with something. Yeah, we've done way worse. This is sort of what the Feywild is. All right, fine. All right. <sighs> so wait, I turn gonna... I turn to Vex. What do you you like this idea? You want to do this? I have no love for that city. I don't care. I kind of want to go there, too. The right. people we're stealing from better be meanies, though. And they better well, have deserved it at some point. Ultimately, can... I would love to ask them to help us in our fight. I'm trying to feel better about this. Mm. They're cowardly and stupid for hiding, but we could use their help if they are making Possibly it better here. equipped and, and better educated than, sorry, than this one here. Well, Garmili also said they were Strengthening up an army. Did they ever have a standing army before? They did. They did? Yeah. I mean, it, it, of course they did. They're a city. The streets march. Of course. Yeah. It wasn't like a huge army per se, but they had trained forces and um, you know, they had means of defending their city. And <laughs> We had a fight instructor when we were growing up. I mean. They're elves. They're very civilized. They've all got sticks up their asses. They're fucking elves. I can't wait. Let's I like this one. Are right, you gonna fix his? What is it called? Uh, give me your your ocarina. Let me see if I can go to work on. I can it. I can help Percy. I will inspire Percy by singing. Go ahead, Percy, and fix his ocarina. Thank you. Take your yeah. tinkering <laughs> tools and fix his ocarina. <laughs> you gotta close up the whole thing and fix his ocarina. Hey, hey ocarina. ocarina! Hi. Hi. Take your D10. <laughs> can I help with the mending spell? I need a glue, or you can help with the mending spell. Mending spell. Mending spell. Like, yeah. like, can I do it well, almost like a ritual? Do you have the cantrip? <laughs> do I have that cantrip? Do I think it's a cantrip. Have a mending spell? I don't know. I thought she used it once before on something. I thought I used it as a, um, as a ritual spell before. We fixed, you fixed that little doll, that little Seren Ray doll. It's true. Yeah. yeah. Right, but you, so you have the spell, correct? I, I, I guess I, I, guess I, I thought I learned it. I thought it was a first, I, I don't know. Oh no, geez, here comes the internet. I, I don't it's have it now. Yes. Wait, I don't can, have can, it can now. you have it all times? Can I use it as like a first level spell? What cantrips do you know? <laughs> Guidance, druid, craft. I used druid craft. You used druid craft for the wooden thing. Yes, you did. Can uh, I use druid craft to help? to assist? How would you use druid craft in? A, in What's uh, it made out of? Is it made out of wood? Uh, clay? Clay, I'd imagine. Clay? Actually, it's, it's made like of natural fire. things? So I'm I'm going to attempt to glue it together and I'm gonna need something to bind it into a holding, like to like hold the whole thing together while the glue sets. Okay. So you go ahead and you you using what materials are within the workshop that you had before, there is a, a, a very mild adhesive paste that you construct. Go ahead and make a tinkering room. Just do the intelligence modifier. Uh that was a natural twenty. Yes. Wow. It was. Very rapidly, with the things that are uh, given at your disposal, uh, not even needing the materials Lost here, but what you have on you as part of your traveling tinkering kit, um, you piece together a nearly uh, unnoticeable binding agent for clay and uh, you know, dirt and, and uh, earth-based materials. Um, you 
managed to fix the ocarina rather quickly in a period of maybe 20 minutes, and with the help of, of Keyless Druidcraft, dry it and manage to get it uh, fixed. Get it Your instrument, sir. Thank you. That's one good deed you've done me today. I appreciate that. Oh, uh, don't forget about all them ales, yeah? Oh. <laughs> Oh boy. Save it for the talent <laughs> show. I don't know how to play it. I'm just like, well, yeah, but uh, uh. It's quite nice. It's quite nice. Uh, I mean, at least you can always draw. I could find my quill. I'm sorry. I said I'm sorry. I looked. For 20 fucking minutes, I looked, all right? Thank you. I'm sure we could find you a quill. I've got one right fucking ear. I pulled the black feather out from behind my ear and hold it up. This is a very fine feather oh. to sweeten the deal. Don't fuck us over. That's and an I amazing slide feather. Into the book. Don't give him that, Vax. It's too nice. No, it is really nice. I know you're acting like he's lying, but he's That's telling actually you about true, yeah. <laughs> Good lie, Croc. <laughs> That's too nice. No, it is too nice. <laughs> We've really been burned. I am really going to punch you in the back of the head if you fuck us over. Do you understand me? I don't I, like you. I I like you. Yeah. Rest uh, is back. Oh. Well, are we at an agreement? Yes. Yes. Sure, why not? Me? Who's he shaking? Whoever your leader is, shake my hand. Yeah, give me your fucking hand, you dirty uh, bastard. No. No. To win. Before you got your hand there, Vax. Vex okay. put her hand in, and both of you guys clasp both sides of his hand at the same time. Yeah. Oh, this is a awful. trio Ed. handshake. Um, Weirdly appropriate. <laughs> I'm pretty sure he was one. talking to me, but... I'm pretty sure he was talking right. to me, actually. Um, yeah. All right, so you guys shake hands with him. You feel this, like, this <laughs> kind of shiver on your back as you shake hands. Ah, fuck. And he kind of smiles. Very well. Now, you've probably gotten acquainted. My... Should Proper introductions that. are in order. And he stands up and kind of wobbles for a second, a little drunk on the ale. Yeah, you want My more? name is Garmeli. I am a simple joy finder of the ever-shifting grasses. And uh, I'm happy to be your guide for the remainder of this journey to the outskirts of the, mark, the shade mark and no further. <laughs> so, three things you wish to avoid as we progress further. As we are traveling through the Moonbrush, alongside the Green Sea, we could take one or the other, your choice. Um, eventually finding our way to the Gilded Run, and from there, on to the Shade Merc itself. So, I'll be leaving you at the outskirts of the Gilded Run, but it should suffice for the journey you wish to have ahead. Oh. <laughs> uh, things you wish to avoid. Um, one, the Hut of Odenna. She's a terrible woman. <laughs> if you see a hut, don't go. Oh, you may smell enticing things. Odena. Oh, Odena. Oh, Odena. Odena. Delightful smells. Sounds of soft music. A gentle light across the shade and sea. <laughs> <laughs> Two words at once. I'm drunk. <laughs> but <laughs> not go near the hut. Avoid the hut. No hut. <laughs> no hut. No Two. hut. Avoid the last campsite of Sorodun the Happy. Sorodun. Sounds nice. Sorodun. Yeah, that sounds fun. Avoid it. I trust me. Avoid it. If there's a campsite, that's empty, looks happy, avoid it. <laughs> <laughs> and three, avoid the theater. I love the theater. Oh, that's good advice, theater. actually. <laughs> avoid the theater. Just Wait, in is general, this, the is theater? Just in general. I Musicals. hate all theater. Let's avoid the theater, please. <laughs> I do an insight check on here. Do it. <laughs> <laughs> do it. <laughs> wow. I don't know what I have in here. It's probably not bad. Terrible. 13. 13. I mean, he seems pretty perturbed by the idea of theater. <laughs> <laughs> I'm changing my critic, mind on this guy. What's <laughs> <laughs> a critic? <laughs> What did you see out there? Did you see uh, avoid the hut? Uh, I mean, what does we have uh, no. have Wodonna, Wodonna do? Got really mad. She's, um, she's been around a while. She's a hag? Is she a hag? That's a like name. It. Oh. Mm. Best to avoid it. Best to avoid Trust it. me. We yeah. do nothing but trust you. Great, wonders. And who are you, by the way? Oh. We We're Vox Machina. The Vox Machina. Take. The Vox Machina Slayer's Take. <laughs> Very well. A pleasure to meet you all, Vox Machina Slayer's Take. He holds his drink out for you to fill again. 
How many fingers am I holding up? I don't care. <laughs> Come here. Thank you. Now, the deal is made. Drinks been had. Introductions have been properly given. I think it's time for bed. Yes. That's he takes two steps before. Face <laughs> <laughs> first in the center of the main area and just starts snoring loudly. Maybe we should All move right. him to a, a room, a safe location that we can lock. With yeah. those twenty guards, right, Scanlan? Sure, he's surrounded. Can I yeah. take his ocarina just for the night? Make a slight hand check. He's asleep. So do I get advantage or something? <laughs> or something? <laughs> or something. Make a slight hand check. Oh! oh, oh wow. Twenty. <laughs> <laughs> She's uh, a ghost. <laughs> That's true. That's true. Forward. <laughs> In a move that would made Vax proud, <laughs> you pull the ugly from his grasp, show it to the rest of the party, and tuck it away. I look over at Vax, give him a wink. <laughs> <laughs> and Vax, hey. <laughs> wow. That was primo, baby. Hey, thanks. Hey, Keyleth. <laughs> yeah? You've got magic. Yeah, kind of, yeah, kind of, yeah. I don't, I don't entirely trust this thing. Yeah. You were told specifically not to trust anything. That's true, Do you true. have He's any really sort shifty. of spell that can do true seeing or that can restore him if he's if he's putting on this form or that can dispel some charm that he has around him or something. Maybe some, some sort of magical thing that he put on me because I'm pretty sure he cast something on me and my brother. Really? Maybe. What happened? What'd you feel? A shiver when we shook his hand. Oh, okay. Wow. Yeah. That's a good thing. yeah, yeah, yeah. Maybe a jacket. He still, he never told us what he wanted, wanted, wanted <laughs> to, you. what he, he didn't, did. what he no, wanted he to didn't. steal. No, he hasn't. Pikey, Are we supposed you, to steal it Pikey, before? do you have something that can reveal some sort of truth or, or dispel some sort of magic from him? I, if he's dispel magic. I, I actually yeah. currently have dispel magic right now. Can we try learned. it? I also on, have regenerate on, learned. On as well. me and my brother, see if it, if it yeah, cancels yeah, yeah. out whatever he just did. I'll, I'll try. Well, no, I suppose. I'll I touch. I'll touch. Vex and, and cast dispel magic and see if anything happens. Dispel magic. Mm -hmm. All right. You're not wearing anything. Ma wait, wait, wait. Take off all magical items first. All, everything I'm wearing is magic. Well, take it off. Oh, yeah, yeah, take over. it off. Oh, take no. it off. What is it about this not like this mansion that makes us get <laughs> naked all the time? <laughs> I just don't want. It's like you know. The hat is not ma magic. You could leave that on. Thank you. So I take off everything except for the hat. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I just don't want to, you know, risk dispelling anything. New painting anything. for the mansion. <laughs> it's like wearing. I'm taking a naked. short walk, all right. I'm, I'm taking a I've, short walk. Every time I've seen anything attractive and naked, it's gone very poorly today. I'm walking away. It's like wearing metal in a really hot sauna. You just don't do it. All right, I'm come just, on. I'm, I'm ready. All right. Roll a d20 and add your wisdom modifier. All right, all right. Uh, we put the boy let me do, um, let me do, I'll do the big guy, I'll do the big guy. Come on, big guy. Oop. Oh, that's okay. My wisdom, just my modifier. Mm -hmm. Um, oh. 22. Okay. You cast the spell. <sighs> Wait. Do you feel different? Do I feel really? different? That's a very high wisdom roll. It's just, do you feel anything? Do I feel anything? You didn't feel anything in particular. No, no, give it a minute. It might take a while to take effect. Maybe, like, do some jumping jacks. I'm definitely putting my clothes back on. Okay. <laughs> I mean, I can also try a, a regeneration Aww. spell. Wait, wait, I, I think I can, I think I can do something. Really? Yes, I can sing a song. That's and mostly what I do. No. <laughs> we haven't we have noticed by now. You can sing a song and what? I, I, ha I have a power that I never, ever use. What? <laughs> it's called counter charm. I can counter charms. As so they're being cast, <laughs> so you still can't use it. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> Damn it! I'm, I'm going to start gathering the, the servants to pick the boy up and put, it and put him in, a, in his room. And the 20 guards lift this form and carry him off to some side Don't let him closet. steal any of our shit. Everything would disappear. disappear anyway. would no, no, I mean our personal uh, shit. Oh. Lock the door. All right. Yeah, but what if you can like do Scanlan's thing where it goes through the door? Well, that's true. I have a feeling if he if he shook your hand and did something, it's gonna, like Scanlan said, it's probably a pike thing, like a remove curse or. It's got to be something more like that. I don't know. Yeah. Uh, my mine is all nature based. Okay. Well. 
I can try uh, to regenerate you, but I don't think this would fall under that. She's fine. It was a draft. She needs to wear more clothes. It's all right. Do, do you feel different? No, not anymore. Oh, I, I, I have a feel feeling. Anything. It's like if you stray from a contract or something, you might f might feel it. I don't know. Right. That's what I would think. Yes. I'll go I'm to bed. There, so. All right. And I sleep on all of my weapons and stuff. Like they're under me on top of the mattress. Perfect. Everyone else go to bed? I put a blanket over over the cedar. Okay. Um pet him and I pet I pet him now that he's asleep and feel is this is this fur coarse or is it soft? It's pretty coarse. Okay. That is really creepy. creepy. Now I know. <laughs> <laughs> okay. okay, good night. Uh I make sure everything's fine and uh Yes, and I will, uh, <laughs> uh, unless anything has, uh, um, I will leave him his book, lock the door, and head up to my room and lock the door behind me as well. All right. I stay up all night reading. Again? <laughs> yes. Are you going to take a point of exhaustion for that? Yeah. yeah. I have to. I get very little sleep. I, I, I'm having trouble sleeping. Here we are. All right, so this is your second le level of exhaustion. No, I, I slept last oh, that's night. That's right, you did, you did sleep, correct. Night, so slept. you do take your point of exhaustion now, so you're back to one point of exhaustion. Um, so all your ability checks are at disadvantage. How long does that take, usually, to, a week. to read? It takes a week. I, I to have to memorize read 40, it. I think it was 48 hours of reading over a period of six days. Oh, jeez. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's oh, not wow. easy. Close. <laughs> yeah, you might be and I'm on day four, I believe. Yeah. And I'm, I'm up to 36 hours now, if, if I have discounts as like 10, 12 hours yeah. of, yeah. Wow. <laughs> so you're, you're close. I'm close. Yeah, you're, yeah. you're doing good. Uh, all right. Anyone um, else do anything? I sleep and I, I dream of fireflies and the Feywild because it's so magical. There you go. <laughs> all right. I'm going to get up early. Okay. But, yeah. I'm, I'm going to get up early and, and try to, um, fix my hair and make it as pristine as I can and um, try to clean off my clothes and everything before we go into sleep. I sleep like a baby in my armor. All right. Mm. Uh, Percy, as you get ready to go to bed, you feel this strange tickle at the back of your head. Oh, God damn it! okay. That dissipates and... Is it what I think it is? It, it, it is the, f the fading of a charm person. Oh, okay, God damn it. Yeah. The fading of a charm person? Son of a mm -hmm. fuck. Well, it's over then. I, and just as I'm going to bed, or just as I wake up? Just as you're going to bed. Okay. Fuck. <laughs> you fuck us. He's Did you, the the us. Did you fuck him. us? What? First he was charmed. Oh no, I was, you don't know anything yet. Yep. Um, I'm not quite gonna go to sleep yet. I'm going to go see who else is still awake. Okay. Uh, Scanlan is reading in his room. The door's slightly ajar. Oh, yes, yes. The little fucker jumped me. <laughs> I knew it! I suspected it. That's why I tried to use counter charm, but I don't know how to use it. <laughs> uh, apparently it's some sort of preemptive thing. I have to read about it. Oh shit, I'm already reading this! God damn it! <laughs> anyway, what do you think we should do? I don't know what we can do. Wait, when were you charmed? What did it affect? What decisions did you make today that were key? <laughs> Made a bloody deal with him. Well, we can always back out on the deal. I mean, you well, and I can. Well, no, we can't really. What is there? Some sort of blood pact that we make? We make. I don't, I don't know exactly how it works. It's just in any book you read about Feywild, you make a deal, and it's a deal, and, and you have to deal with it. What does that mean? You and I could go down to his room right now and just kill him and be done with it. I don't think that would work. Would we be cursed? Maybe. Haunted forever? Probably. Oh, man. That sucks. <laughs> I don't want to be haunted. That's for you and Vax. <laughs> <laughs> it would look lovely in Island. Um. <laughs> no baggage, man. No baggage. <laughs> What do we do? I suppose we... We made a deal with a devil of some sort. Uh, it was inevitable. Um... Is there a way to trick the trickster? 
Possibly. Into releasing us from the deal? Could be. Because, you know, I'm a sly talker. Hmm. <laughs> when did this show turn into Rosencrantz and Guildenstern again? <laughs> <laughs> right now. Right now. <laughs> I'm going to have to tell the others in the morning. I'm going to go see if anybody else is awake. And, oh God, sleep well. Oh, you're reading, never mind, no, don't I've sleep. Now i to read about the fucking Fae, too. No, <laughs> <laughs> finish your bloody book. Um, is uh, Keyleth is, is at rest, uh, Grog <clears throat> is at rest, Vax is at rest. Uh, Vax is still up cleaning out your garments, you said, right? Uh, and Pike, you went to bed, but you're waking up early, correct? Yes. Yeah, so essentially it's just Vex who's awake. Vex! Little shit put a charm on me. I felt it wear <laughs> off about 45 minutes ago. Before we made the deal with him. Yes, around the time we made it. Uh, see, I made the deal because you said it was fine. Well, I... It's fine, you didn't know. Well? Well, at least we know that he definitely can't be trusted. It's our own stupid fault. We knew we weren't supposed to trust anything here. I know. <laughs> We've got to make sure that Pike doesn't give him back his his whistle just yet, and we have to figure Why out a way. Why did you want to fix his whistle? You just liked him. He was so nice. You just liked I mean, him. he was just so nice. Damn it, I thought you knew something we didn't know. I really, I, really thought you did. I did. It's Sadly, what I knew is he's a little shit. <laughs> I just didn't know till about half an hour ago. I hate magic. Hindsight sucks. I hate magic. <laughs> Percy. Bird. Change of subject. Mm. Would you say I look put together, well off, with this armor? Uh, in, in what sense? Well, you come from money, right? Yes. Right, so, um, do I look like I come from money? Uh, does she look like she comes from money? That's entirely up to your opinion. Uh, you you know the attire she wears, you've traveled with her, It's it's, Based on what you want to base that judgment on, whether it be just pure looks, the person inside, it's whatever Percival thinks she would be in his eyes. Hmm. She's naked in the hand. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, dear, you're too happy to look like you come from my. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> I don't believe that. No, it's it's a sure sign of it. It's just a, an abject misery. Believe me, I can speak to it. Um, you look too much like you, and you don't look enough like something you're supposed to be. Um, if you feel the urge to deeply bullshit, I'd be happy to help you. It's not hard. No? No. It is easy to pretend you come from money. <laughs> well. Uh, you just have to be a bit of a shit and wear what everybody else is wearing. Um, does this have something to do with that city? <sighs> it does, doesn't it? Who's there? Well, you know, everyone. <laughs> we were judged growing up, and I... I don't look forward to seeing that again. Well. It's not important, I'm... Oh, I, I disagree. I think, dear, I think, I think that if you're worried about them knowing whether or not you've made your money and made your fortune, I, I don't think that's going to be the thing to earn their respect. I think you're better off, A, with the company that you keep, and B, with the fact that you're probably just better than most of them. <laughs> I've known a lot of people with money, and They are definitely not worth you. Um, and besides, if they have something nice that makes you feel inferior, we can just take it. <laughs> I, 
I like the way you think. Well, and then they're just, you know, shit without anything, and then you're you with their stuff. Mm. Thank you, Percy. You're welcome. I know it doesn't really help, but... <sighs> Will yes. you stay at my side when we're there? Yes, yes, and, uh... The outfit works. Don't change it. Thank Keep you. the hat. <laughs> All right. Uh, good this, night. Good night. You sleep well. we we'll sort out this um, charmed mess in the morning. Uh, I'm sorry for my part in it. So, you guys go your separate ways. You find yourself actually to bed as the rest of the group is asleep. Vex, you take a bit of solace in the conversation, finish cleaning your things, Though that doesn't seem like the incessant scrubbing you were driven on has much purpose, nor the impact you thought it might at this point, and you resign yourself to sleep for the evening. As the evening comes to a close, Pike, you wake up early. Uh, as you come out of your room, you struggle with the view of 20 guards slowly shifting through the foyer as a very hungover and groaning satyr begins clomping through the main foyer going, Ugh. breakfast please? <laughs> Is breakfast. Yes, yes, follow me to the kitchen. I actually yes. wanted to. Yes, someone they listen to. Yes. Thank you. Come. <sighs> um. <sighs> Rubbing his eyes, he follows you into the kitchen. <clears throat> Comes up onto one of the long benches in the center of one of the main dining tables. I put down a, a, a cup of coffee for him. <sighs> um, and I run into the kitchen and get a very large, <laughs> oh no. What is, are you poisoning me? What's wrong? What is this? It's coffee? <laughs> <laughs> I don't like coffee. Oh, what do you want? Something that's not coffee. <laughs> okay, can we get him something that's not coffee? <laughs> He's gonna look at each other confused and wander off and come back. Cup of chicken like a, broth. A giraffe of like a, an apple juice. <laughs> apple juice will be great, <laughs> sure. That is familiar, thank you. And just takes the hey. carafe and kind of like. Um, I run <sighs> in the kitchen really quick and get a very large piece of butcher paper. Okay. Okay. <laughs> so, Gomeli. Yes. Um, I think you're so talented. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm thank just, I, I wanted to ask if maybe you could draw a family portrait. Oh, for us, and the most ridiculous you can make it. What do you mean? Just of, of all of us. <laughs> I want to hang it above the mantle before everybody wakes up. Well, uh, uh, it's hard to do without seeing the subjects, but I mean, if you want to fill in the Don't details. Don't you already know how, you fill in the details. All right, um, well, I need a quill or some charcoal? Uh, uh, Vax gave you a quill last night. Well, he gave me a feather. It has to be refined into a quill. Oh, I forgot. I had. Oh, I think there's one in the kitchen. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, there is no quill in the kitchen. Shit. Um, Kids but, crown. But but glancing around, and asking the servants, uh, there are pieces yeah, of charcoal around here somewhere. Uh, there is charcoal available. Like sketch okay. charcoal. Can you use charcoal? Of course, of course. Great. <laughs> Mm, all right. Have at it. You first? Sure. All right. <laughs> it's Leonardo uh, and Winslet. Yeah. <laughs> Draw me, me like, like one of your French <laughs> girls. <laughs> you hear the gentle, the gentle uh, lyrical stylings of Celine Dion swell in the background. <laughs> Sater creepily begins sketching your chocolate form. And remember, very ridiculous. I don't know what that means, but I'll, I'll do my best. <laughs> um, yeah. Uh, in rapid time, faster than anyone you've ever seen sketch, his form almost becomes blurred with the, the haste in which he draws. Um, and within the hour, he has completed an extremely well-detailed Portrait, and I mean portraits. Everyone standing shoulder to shoulder, like a like a family above a mantle, um, and it is grotesque. 
<laughs> I mean, you look like perhaps the Trickfoots had been keeping the bloodline strong for a very, very long period of time. A droopy face, one well, eye sinking before the other. It's, it's, you don't even have the right number of fingers. Um, uh, you see Grog in the back, who is as wide as the rest of everybody. He's just behind them, like this giant wall with this tiny little head with a tongue kind of lolling out the side. Um, uh, it looks like he has one one finger as a thumbs up, and the other one's up his bum. <laughs> um, in the front, you see uh, Vex and Vax. The twins are just furiously making out. And oh! 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 They have the most just clutching each other. It's terrifying. Uh, no. <laughs> Keyleth uh, is is currently uh, clutching the side of a tree happily, and as she does, her eyes are going in different directions. <laughs> um, and the tree itself is like trying to push her off the branch. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> you see Percy, hey, who is extremely tall with this squat kind of thin head with these giant glasses that make his eyes bug-eyed and strange. You see a little bit of scruff on the chin that's actually kind of turning into this long, awful, kind of matted dingleberry mess of a goatee. <laughs> um, and uh, he has both of his guns pointed at his head, going. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, next to that is a perfectly defined, unchanged portrait of Scanlan Shortall. <laughs> Oh, I just wanted to hear you explain it. Okay. <laughs> so I'm gonna wow. I'm gonna I'm gonna take it and put it above I'm gonna just paste it above the mantle. Okay. And I'm gonna go back Servant up to my room. To bed. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna go back upstairs in my room. Okay. Eventually you all come to consciousness, uh, brought to the wonderful uh, welcome morning scent of once again chicken full breakfast. <laughs> um Oh. Find yourselves down to a once again passed out satyr, slumped over the breakfast table with what looks to be two plates of mostly devoured uh, chicken, mashed potatoes, and a couple other side uh, elements. It sounds so sounds good. Delicious. Uh, and there above, on the mantel across the room, is a glorious, glorious sketch of the family of Vox Machina. <laughs> Charming. Oh, wow. <gasps> Who changed my? I look pretty good. <laughs> this is brilliant. Wait, Scanlan, why do you look normal? Does he just really I like? I think you? we all look normal, actually. <laughs> <laughs> That's how I see us. Sure. <laughs> this picture is disgusting. I, I love, love it. it. Where did that come yeah. from? No, it is awful. <laughs> Burn it. You guys, we have a souvenir. Oh, we have a souvenir from the Feywild. Huh? I love it. I think he wants a beat. That's what he wants. I flick his head. <laughs> uh, yeah, what, 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 hi, hi, hi. Hey. <laughs> Why would you do that when we've been so hospitable? Because what? I, it's a gift. It's a, Make a persuasion check. rock. Fifteen. <laughs> I thought I'd leave you a little present. I love it. I think it's, well, it's gross, but it's everybody else looks quite wonderful. I like it. I sit down right in front of the cross the table. I guess I don't mind, at least I'm big. I like it. You guys will cherish I think it's this gross. <laughs> of course you do. Well, uh, eat up and we'll be on our way. <laughs> I'm just gonna, he like, notices kind of the tension from Grog and no, 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 not yet, not yet. Just, just so all cards are on the table, we know that we ag agreed to a deal. Yes, last yes, night. we did. Despite did. your charm spell on me, which was uh, wait, what? Defending play. myself, Fair as play. was warranted. Fair play. Well, when did he charm? You got charm. charm? Spell. I, I do win. think we should inform you, though. Mm. We may have used a little magic on you. Sorry. Just to make sure the deal was solid. Well, I'm certain that that was a necessary precaution. Yes. Well, the deal stands for as it is at the moment, I suppose. Wondrous, I had hoped as such, because we have much to gain. <laughs> so, wait. Oh yeah, no, he, he charmed me. He put a charm on me last night. I had a feeling. <laughs> So you no longer think it's a good idea to enter into this agreement? The well, gentleman? a little late. 
<laughs> it is a little late. You well, never told us what you wanted. No, he hasn't. Yeah. Oh, that's I'm going true. to show you. You're going to walk us right in. Oh, boy. Something like that. Mm. Well, what well. are you going to do? What are you going to do? Mm. <laughs> Why don't you just spat <laughs> his legs again? You, know. you. <laughs> you fascinate me. <laughs> Good. That's not the first time I've heard that. <laughs> Friend, I applaud your cleverness. I'm excited by this deal, and I just want to let you know that, God forbid, something comes up where I'm come from, where I come from, the world I come from, I am possibly the worst person you've ever met. And I think I kind of hope, not necessarily to hurt you or harm you, but I hope that one day that you can know just how awful I can be. Uh, where is my 17? <laughs> oh, it never comes to that. Let's hope. It, I, 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 I can make addendums to the art piece if you're unhappy. I love the art piece. Actually, I, since we're on the subject, have you ever drawn yourself before? Well, many times. I'd be curious to see one of your self-portraits. Oh, that, that, that. Are they in the book? No. I didn't think so. <laughs> Self-reflection is not one of my favorite pastimes either. Anyway, what are you looking for in the city? I'll show you. As part of the agreement, it'll be unveiled upon arrival. Sounds good to me. I'm That's excited. not sneaky at all. I fully trust you. Great. Now, finish your food. Much to do, much to see, much to take. <sighs> I hate this guy. I hate him now. <laughs> no, 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 where did it? Where, where did what? Where did what? Where did where where did what? Hmm. They give us and they take away. <laughs> Bless the small print. Seven. <laughs> Eat well. Mm. And he kind of makes his way towards the door, and the guards stop him there. <laughs> I'll just sit here then. And sits on the floor, waiting for you guys to finish. What sort of magic did you cast on us? What do you mean? What was the deal we agreed to? What will happen if it breaks? Deals are meant to be kept. Should you go against a deal that you've made, especially in here, these realms, there are consequences. Yes. So don't stray from the deal. I think it's just a deal. I just think deals may be a big deal here. Mm. <sighs> so we can still kill it? I don't know. All right. I think if it comes to it, it's possibly. I what just, happened I don't to don't hurt that. or touch anything in the Feywild? Well, yeah, we fucked that up, didn't we? Do it. Um, can I take out? I don't want to kill him. I simply picked a flower, Ocarina. Yeah. And just play a couple notes while I'm looking at him. Sure. <laughs> like dead check. stare. Performance. <laughs> check. That's the thing. Performance, Performance, Performance check. check. Woo! That's the thing. <laughs> You're definitely the right person to be doing this. Yeah, right. Thirteen. It's as if you can play an ocarina 13? well. Uh, like anyone. In a very rudimentary kindergarten recorder. Hot cross buns. Hot cross buns. It's a little shaky, but you get the hang of it. It's the only sound in the room. It's just dead quiet <laughs> as you just do this in the middle of breakfast stare. with food being brought to the table. That was amazing, Pike. Pike. Well, I just oh, move over, Scanlan. Holy hell, yeah, that was good. That was good. Oh, I think yes. really good. I mean, I I Did you I work? learned once. I don't know. I don't think I've ever seen anyone play an instrument that well. Wait, hey, this is my house. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know. Oh, let us. Mm. Oh look, the Seda's sad. What's the matter, friend? She has my 
Oh, Karina. Oh, oh you're, you're oh, that's terrible. That's terrible. You're oh, bad. Yeah. Poor guy. You're clever. Listen, I'm sure you'll be fine. Maybe we'll give it back to you, but I know what you did to my friend with this little thing. <laughs> so I'm not going to give it back to you. Not just yet. Yeah. Eat your breakfast. I already right, did. Go. Damn, oh, somebody get this print. poor asshole a handkerchief. He looks so sad. He just kind of sits there and pouts. <laughs> as you guys finish your meal, laughing and enjoying yourself. As he as he pouts, I druid craft a little flower crown for him. <laughs> <laughs> he somehow like recedes even further into his grumpy self. His neck disappearing as his head pulls into his torso. He's so fun to mess with. We are really shit at making friends. So I'm curious really while we're shit. eating, would you happen to tell us what our first objective might be? He's going to show us. Oh. I think it's time to Let's, make our way in. Go. Yeah, I'm full. Let's do it. Uh, I'm going to walk over to Scanlan. Scanlan. What? I'm going to give this to you. The Macarena? Yeah, <laughs> because I, I, I'm just, I don't like performing. You're really good at it. That's a lie. <laughs> Just you don't know. Take this and maybe you could charm some people with it. I don't know if that's what it is, but I don't want him to have it. I, okay. I thank you. I will. Uh, I'll try my best. All right, let's go. Can't believe I wasted a natural twenty on his little. Sorry, I'm good. <laughs> you guys finish your breakfast. Uh, the guards come with you and escort you and your ally outside the door. Um, as you exit. The oh, wait, wait, wait. Take and mm -hmm. and roll up the painting, the charcoal drawing that he did, and put it in the bag of holding. Oh, very good. Oh, okay. It's gonna disappear as soon as we take it out. Oh, no, we put it in the. Leave it in the. Leave it in the mansion. Oh, that yeah, that's actually right. It's, it's yeah. from the mansion, so it'll stay in the mansion. Will it stay in the mansion? It won't bam yeah. out. You've tried taking things out of the mansion, and they've turned to just. Yeah, dust but I mean, but I don't. Leave it in but I know it things in. will also get ejected from the mansion. I don't think it was brought in. It was from the mansion. Okay, okay. No then I'll leave it. I'll leave it. Yeah. I'll no leave it. Take it down. Happens, there will be a good picture. Oh, put it back up. Yeah. Put it back up. Yeah. All right. No worries. No, it's, it's a good lesson. <laughs> As you guys exit the mansion, um, the dusk light of the sky has not changed. Um, so you get the uh, get the idea here, at least since you've arrived, that, that there has been no movement in the sun. You haven't even seen the sun. The light source of dusk beyond the, the distant mountains and, and horizon is just stuck in the dusk hour. Um, with the, the the threat and curl of midnight in the opposite direction, the dark blue just coming over the horizon, unmoving. Um, it also is raining gently. Um, there is a rather uh, heavy cloud that has come over, and it's not. Not a, a terrible downpour, but like a gentle, gentle rainfall has been here for a while, and uh, the the floor between the grasses is quite slushy as you step out. Let's go to the city. Right. Can we go away to the city. Bex, should we be dressing for the occasion? Should we oh. put on like nicer our nice cloaks? We do have nice cloaks we could wear. We're going to be sneaking in to steal things. No, no, no. There's no, no way we could sneak no, in. We're going to go in and make introductions and get settled and then figure out what the fuck we're doing. Oh, okay. Hmm. Oh. Yeah, cloak me. With what? <laughs> My, and our nice cloaks. Oh, we have our nice. He has some fancy cloaks, unless he's used them all. No. <laughs> do you have any left? Mine's still made of yeah. wood, by the way. No. That, 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 faded, that faded with the night's rest. Oh, Bugger. I do have your fancy winter stuff. It's raining. It's raining. It's not like it's not like Hawaii rain. It's rain, I would assume. Yeah. It's not chilly, but cold. It's not Just freezing. Throw a cloak it's not on. I don't know. Try and look like I made some sort of effort. All right, Keyleth gets a cloak. Do you want some nice? Shit? Oh yes. Okay. <laughs> yeah. I'm not one. changing. Uh, I'm not changing anything. Yeah, Pull my hood up. Okay. How long will it take to get to the city from where we are? Uh. A few hours, maybe. Can't you like craft something to like keep the rain off of us? Yeah, I can. I'll just do a little kind of cantrip gust over um, top of us to make like those air umbrella umbrellas that would like never work in real life, but you know, okay. like that. Uh, you guys have to get kind of close together to do it, but it's doable as a okay. as a cantrip. So she just kind of keeps this this general 
a revolving sphere of wind above that scatters most of the rain to the sides. Cool. Uh, for the most part, Grog, you still get pretty damp just yeah, due to your care. size and difficulty, but um, most everyone else can stay pretty dry as you cluster together, walking through the grass. Um, <clears throat> you travel for another hour or so before the grass uh, towards the outskirts of the mountain range in the city begins to slowly uh, subside. It grows thinner and shorter, and you come to what looks like uh, a bit of marshland almost. Treeless, just open marshland with little bushes and clusters. Um, anything you guys want to? Perception check. See if I can see anything reading. like moving ahead of us. Yeah, perception check. Uh, 29. Okay. As you guys begin walking into the marsh, you can see there are areas where it's elevated mud, patches where it's just very, very, very shallow water, maybe an inch at most, and there are a few different areas that get noticeably deep and murky, and you watch to avoid those elements. You don't, sure, you're not sure what might be beneath of anything, but you just naturally move through this terrain carefully. Um, you do notice that occasionally upon this walk, you see what looks to be little Different from the rest of the bushes and pieces of terrain, these kind of deep, uh, deep bluish purple uh, sprout leaves, almost like carrot tops, like these kind of um, very leafy-like plant top emerges in places. Occasionally, clusters of two or three, and they're not on a lot of them, but many of them are occur throughout the walk in this swampy landscape. Gomili, what are these? Oh, uh, these uh, these are best to be avoided. Um, they're mandrake. Mandrake. Just don't disturb them. Don't pull them out. Don't do anything with them. Mandrakes? Oh, cool. <laughs> let's look at Harry Potter. Let's not. Let's leave it. No, I've read things about those. That's just a thing. It's just a thing. Should I read it? Let's read. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's a potted screaming baby. Leave them. <laughs> So you've <laughs> left, left to the side. Uh, you guys make your way through the marsh and uh, you know, occasionally passing by the mandrake tops uh, until it begins to subside with the, the marshland itself and you come towards the base of the city before you. Now you see a massive ivy-covered wall of jade-like stone surrounding a dense cluster of towering trees unlike those in any of the surrounding forests since the one you left. It is just an open plain, and then within the city walls, there are just trees emerging uh, many, many stories into the air. Trees that you guys recognize have always been there. These trees came with the city, and they're actually from the Verdant Expanse, where Singhorn usually resides. Uh, as you walk closer, you can see large sealed gates every so often uh, along the outer wall. Uh, every so often, you see these gates embedded in the wall, uh, housing a massive emblem of a crescent moon flanked by two trees over a deep cerulean stone about two feet across. Twins, you know these as the threshold crests. These are the enchanted crests that enable the city to travel back and forth between the Feywild, should it be necessary. They're powerful, uh, and they're rarely utilized, as the journey is not always accurate. Um, seemingly did so this time. Um, make a perception check, guys. Everybody or just the twins? Uh, everybody who's paying attention. I'm, I'm not. <laughs> I'm reading it. This is, 21. This is not woods anymore, this is not forest. This 21. Marsh. 20. Like just past 21. marsh and like flatland. 20. 21. 21. 21. 15. Okay. Uh, you guys continue towards the front of the gate. Uh, there's nobody on the outside of it. It's just a solid outside city. You can see white and uh, gray towers, spires that streak up from inside, some of which are entwined by trees that kind of wrap around the base and then uh, cluster around the center of the tower's height, uh, like, like its own kind of canopy uh, belt, if you will. Uh, as you get even closer still, you can see the white walls themselves are uh, emplacement with almost uh, heavy gold and brass 
uh, like gold leaf edging across the top, and at each one of the various uh, nooks where the walls, the solid stone walls are joined, this is a very, very intricately carved and well crafted wall. Uh, probably as part of the enchantment that is placed on it, amongst others, to keep it defended. Um, you get about a hundred feet from the wall before you, Vex, here. A quick sound. Um, you leap back instinctually as all of you guys watch a series of bolts and arrows across the floor right in front of you. Ooh. Oh boy. That's exciting. You all stop in place. Should we attack? I um, I, I look up on the wall. Is it coming from archers on the wall? You can now see up on the wall dozens of figures atop with long bows and some with crossbows drawn and knocked, trained on all of you. I take my hood down. Say, so you know us. We're here to see my father. So pause. And then just like 100 feet away from you, uh, one of the voices says, who is us, if I might ask? The twins, Vexoria and Vaxildon. Sildor's children. Just a little bit of a conversation. You see a couple of figures disappear from behind the wall. About five minutes pass, and as you guys get a little fidgety, or one of you makes a swift movement, uh, you can see the, the drawn bows tense up and they're trained on any movement you guys give at this moment. As the time passes, an individual steps up to the top of the wall, uh, adorned in the similar uh, Singorian armor, uh, but the helmet is uh, taken off, and you see a woman with uh, deep crimson hair braided to one side and shaved on the other. Cool. Um, uh, in adorned armor, and she steps up and looks out. Vexalia, Vaxildon. Hmm. Do we know who she is? The Vassar twins return, do I know why? What is your business here in Singorn? We came to speak to our father. And the rest of your company? Our companions. Are with us. Make a persuasion check, both of you. Oh. 14. <laughs> Stop using that one to me. Come forth to the gate. Relieve your arrows, please. And the guards all take their bows off of you and release the tension in the strings. And the woman turns and steps off the wall again. You can see the, the, the front, the very front gate, the front of the wall opens ever so slightly, about a five-foot gap left. Just everybody let my sister and I do the talking for a minute. Thank you. Um, I scoop up my sister's hand uh, just down by my side. Walk forward. As you guys watch single file, continuing towards the city, uh, your satyr friend stays in the very back behind you, kind of like <laughs> clutching. <laughs> As you glance back, Throg, he's not there. <clears throat> Who's not there? Whoa. Wait, who, what? Can you still feel him? Oh, sorry. Can I reach down to where he was? Still tugging, he's holding on to you, but has has lost visibility. Never, little spider monkey. <laughs> um, as you guys approach, they're waiting on the side of the gate within are about 10 guards and this individual, which you, uh, she looks a little more battle-hardened and wasn't elevated before, was just one of the guards when you were children, uh, but this is uh, Iova. Iova. Now, uh, Watcher Iova, the Watchers which guard the wall, she appears to be of an elevated status within the Watchers of Syngorn. As you approach, she lowers her head in a respectful bow, but still not breaking eye contact and has a an aloof and distanced expression. Well, Triova, mm. nice to see you have elevated yourself. Time has passed since you were finding your own path. Surprised to see you return here. 
especially so far from the material realms. Then you can imagine there is great cause for us to be here. Is your father aware of your arrival? No. He is now. So, you and your guests will be watched, will be followed, until otherwise given proof and permission from individuals higher than my station within this city, preferably your father. I would expect nothing less. No. Go, and welcome to Syngorn. And she turns around, puts her helmet on, and half the guard walk away while another six remain behind, just keeping watch. Interesting. Hmm, not quite a warm welcome. I wouldn't expect one. Hmm. I guess we should probably make our way straight to, so we can have free reign. I motion for the rest to come up behind. As the rest of you approach and find your way within the city walls, you're met with an astounding cityscape. Hundreds of homes and buildings and sanctuaries formed with natural grace and keen architectural mind as to seem almost grown from the trees and earth themselves. Upon closer look and a nearby inspection, you can see the craftsmanship from a distance. It's almost like they were born from the materials that they were built or crafted. Um, you can see a distant magical lantern light shines all across the city, like the start of a glittering snowfall, as the rest of the, uh, the streets themselves are ever lit by these little shining beacons. The center of the ageless place is divided by a grand lake of pure blue water, a roiling mist drifting across the surface, obscuring the view of boats currently on the surface, the water. You do notice a large military presence within the city, as the armored guard of Syngorn, uh, these individuals, uh, the armored uh, military force known as the Verdant Guard, are walking throughout the city, not with a hurried pace, but there is a general tension in the air, and far more than you've ever seen in all the years that you did spend in your youth within Syngorn. And that's where we'll finish our session. Oh, oh. man! Oh. Yeah. oh, shit. Oh, we're just getting started. No, it's 10.30, though. Bomb. Oh, wow. Oh. Balls! I guess you just have to fly in next week, too. I wish I could. You're the dude, Rashley. Oh, wow. As I look down and once again notice my tick spoon shirt I've had on the entire evening, my overshirt seems to have been shortening it to poon! Oh, I well noticed. Sorry about that. I noticed. Or even better. Poon! Oh, well, that's okay. Tick poo. But, uh,. It's a spoon. spoon. That's hilarious. It's intended to. Oh, Either way, <laughs> it's, it all works fine. It's, it's both ways. So both excited. ways is the new yeah. Scanlan. I'm going to be holding on to this right. all week. I like it. I'm like spoon and poo. I like it. <laughs> Autobiography. Um, well, great guys. Uh, thank you so much. We'll be picking up the next length of this journey and the reunion of <gasps> Vex and Vax with their father, Sildor Vessar. Oh. Um, <laughs> Um, oh, you guys shit. at the live show. Yeah, <laughs> live, live show. show. Live show. Buck, no pressure. Buck, buck. All right. Uh, <laughs> I am so excited. <laughs> and you did notice that they were referred to as the Vassar twins. The Vassar twins? Vassar. What does that even mean? Or what does that mean? Vassar's dad's stupid last name. Vassar. 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 I mean, whether they use the name, that's up to them, and I don't think that they do. But <laughs> that it is. Sorry. All right, folks. Uh, we'll see you guys. Some of you live at the. Uh, well, we'll see you all live next week, but some of you will see at the actual venue in person. Thank you to Luke Crate. Thank, Thank you. Thanks, Thank you, Luke Crate. You guys are awesome. One day left for Joe Mad. <laughs> There we go. Yeah, that was, that, that. <laughs> <laughs> no? <laughs> no, it's okay. Boom. All right. Boom. Ashley, I'm glad you could join us. Yeah, Ashley! Yay! Yay! And we'll see you guys next week. Is this Yay! Thursday yet? <gasps> <gasps>